Derek and say, look, <laughs> looks slightly better than I feel. <laughs> Jesus. Nom nom, Watto, Ardun, hello, hello, Watto friend. Come on in. Good morning to you both. That was a, that was definitely a, a quick race to first. To forgive me while I'm guzzling down first coffee, slowly getting my conversational powers coming in. Well, you both seem very energetic, Watto. <laughs> yeah, um, sorry, I do apologize. I'm gonna have to space entirely there for a few seconds. Definitely this coffee to do its job. Uh, Varbles, Adam, Wraith, Watto, friends. Coming in, coming in. Um, no, I was going to mention to Nom Nom that uh, the... What is it? The Digimon smartwatch is uh, at least available for order in the US now. Uh, Kandarian, Chrono, Lizzie, Watto! Ardun uh, was put seconds late due to disassembling a cargo shuttle. Speaking of which, get a bit, better get back to that. <laughs> oh, those space people, they do get awfully, awfully cranky when they're left in. Vague levels of deconstruction. AR Watto! <laughs> a nom nom! It's share the pain, right? You know, a problem shared is a problem halved. Uh, numbers, good morning. What ho, friend? Uh, I have heard about Ring of Pain. Um, I was intrigued by its whole, like, unsettling horror style. Uh, but I haven't had a chance to get hands on with it. Uh, Vanderbeast, good morning, Watto. Thank you, Philip Pine Glass, to start with. Uh, Bacon Avenger, Vanderbeast, Watto, friend! <laughs> Come on in, you lot. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Eleven months of rufflemancy already. One more month and I get a free Sunday. Was I supposed to be giving out free Sundays at a year? Did I... Was this the thing I said I was going to do? That's also... That's a lot of waffles. Like an inordinate amount of waffles. All right, fire up the ice cream machine. It's Sunday, on a Tuesday. Aram <laughs> and Watto. Kimball, good morning, Watto, friend. Jay Post, coming in, coming in. <laughs> Numbers is like a water soda. <laughs> oh yeah, no, Lizzie, I, I totally believe you. I totally believe you. There is absolutely, definitely a There is absolutely, definitely uh, written proof of that. Oh, Vanderbeach waffle cone Sundays. <sighs> Sorry, I, I know it's not like a, it's not like a, an unknown entity. In Seattle, we've got uh, Salt and Straw, which do waffle cones fresh. And while I'm not a big consumer of desserts, there is something near mystical about the smell of, like, waffle being shaped. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Kimball, apparently I promised everybody who had uh, 12 months they get a free Sunday. Why do I do these things? I'm a fool. <laughs> so, Watto, friends. Stammering Gamer, good morning. How are you all doing? I'm slowly getting up to speed as get coffee in my system, and uh, today we are going to be playing Say No More. Uh, you play a disgruntled intern who discovers the secret power of No. Ice cream, please. How many is Matt? That's 17 months. Alright, but you still only get one ice cream, alright? <laughs> 
Uh, Sandy, how are you doing, friend? What ho? Um, okay, so the salt and straw is like a like an ice cream chain. Um, that was the place they did for Halloween one year. They did like a, a blood and dark chocolate, um, which sounded like it was going to be horrendous, but was really good. Um, but they also did a ghost, which kind of tastes like, um, oh, I don't know, kind of like a fog machine, like a distilled fog machine. Ugh, still remember that one. <laughs> okay, stammering. Well, stammering, we got you. Kick back, pour yourself some rum. Uh, the game we're playing today, um, we are just going to tell jerks in an office no and destroy their lives in the process. Uh, oh, so Sandy, I heard that um, uh, Voodoo Donuts did something like that. Um, but Reactor online. Oh, Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Yo, well, how's it going? Wishing you a wonderful day and stream. When's the lag reveal? <laughs> so DJ, thank you kindly for four months. And you know what? Seeing as you asked, seeing as you asked nicely, we can get some. We can get some leg on the stream. The tiny feeties of tiny pigs. <laughs> tiny big Sam, tiny legs. He's got tiny feeties, and he's kind of like a clam. It's big Sam. I I amuse myself sometimes. Honestly, I just. Um. Oh, so DJ, congrats to take on the uh, the Yaldum is yours. Uh, spooky ghosts. Thank you kindly for throwing in a hundred. Why you would throw in any kind of fiscal support to that? Um, terrible excuse for humor, I do not know, but thank you. Uh, but Sandy, Wato, and welcome. How are you holding up? Uh, Kymel says there's a chocolate place in Newcastle. They made a Halloween bar that looked like bleeding candy apple. It was like bleeding candy, like a, an apple red sauce. It's kind of cool. Oh. Oh, Wraith, this has always been Tiny Big Zam's stream. Just because Tiny Big Zam's not front of front of house, he's he's been pulling the strings for a while. But, you know. He's a, he's a fair and benevolent tiny ruler. Ah. Oh. So I hope you are all doing splendid. Um, I'm definitely of the no news is good news. I uh, built a new kingdom uh, while chatting with everybody over the weekend. Um, and everything else that I did was incredibly boring. <laughs> At least conversationally. Um... Games industry's not done anything too, too dramatic. Touch wood, touch wood. Um, although, interestingly, Skull and Bones has been delayed again. And I don't, I don't understand what's happening with that. Because th there must be some, like, technical issues they're suffering. Because, uh, sorry, if you didn't see it. So, Skull and Bones was basically, it felt like a fork of the ship-to-ship -ship combat from... Um, uh, Assassin's Creed, uh, well, especially the, which one was it? Black Flag. It felt like a fork of that. And it was meant to be kind of a, um, like a fleet v fleet battle, but with NPC um, galleons that would try and mess you up. So the idea was like, how long do you stay inside the match versus like how many more of the British Navy are going to show up and wreck your day? Because honestly, that's what the British Navy are good for. Um, I kind of, I understand. No, no NDA is broken. Um, but it's just, it's been curious to see that having problems. It's like, if it doesn't have the, the Tom Clancy brand on it, it seems that, uh, it seems like there is, there is difficult times. I mean, same with, I guess, um, Beyond Good and Evil 2 as well. It seems like we'll be waiting for that one for a good while. <laughs> oh, J-Post was saying they want the uh, uh, the Lego The Room set that Tal posted. And that is the video game The Room, not the movie of The Room. Oh, there's so many of those like Lego Kuso... Uh, projects where I would have loved to have seen gone into into full production.
Uh, Lizzie's got 5G upgrade uh, tonight. Uh, first or second? It's been it's been very interesting hearing everybody's stories, and frankly, it's been kind of like the uh, the how's the weather conversation. Like, it's the perfect little bit of small talk at the moment. Like, have you had your jab yet? Oh, I've had my first. Have you had your second? Oh, I've had my second. How did it do? Well, I slipped into a plague pit for like two days and just shook. How are you? <laughs> Sorry. So I just saw Aganaki's Tom Clancy's Lego, the room, the movie, the video game, the novel. Oh, Lizzie says first for their house. No worry, no worry. Good on you. Um, Mr. Dool says there's tomorrow. A bit stressed? Oh, honestly, don't be. Um, more people were fine with both the first and second than not. It's just idiots like me that ended up being, uh, end up having a bad time. Oh, I still, I mean, I'm still kicking myself for that week stream-wise because what I should have done was streamed on Wednesday with all of you lot. Because I thought if it was going to hit, it would hit the same day, which it did not. And then we lost Thursday and Friday. And then Saturday was just coffee chats and hanging out. We lost almost a whole week. And we could have lost less than a week if I had timed it better. But I did not. Because I'm a stupid. Captain Stephanie Barnes and House Valkyrie what oh friend. But yeah, it does. It makes for this the, the the teeniest, tiniest little bit of uh, of small talk conversation, which I'm very grateful for. Utopia Heart, good morning, what ho, friend? Um, what else was going down? Oh, everyone's posting their um their quarterlies, so we can kind of see. Who's doing well? Who's doing poorly? Uh, interestingly, um, Paradox is down. Um, and considering how well everyone's been doing during lockdown, that's kind of interesting. So we might be starting to see the, the beginning of the slowdown. Because, like, I mean, we've all been stuck indoors for like, you know, a year and a half. It's not fun. And instead of going out to the movies or going out and getting lashed we've been spending money on video games apparently and that's cool but both both people's budgets and the impend excuse me cheeky t burps the impending freedom that we have the light in the tunnel which is which is getting ever closer does mean that people are going to be spending less on the, the video games this summer legends what ho so it makes sense. Um, Desu says Vive Pro 2 announced today. Oh god. Uh, sorry, uh, Desu was saying that they can't imagine making a game that runs at 5k 20 FPS. Oh god. Well, so is that 60 for each eye or uh, 120 for each eye? Because grim. Uh, Legend was just adding that they're going to travel the, the, the moment they're allowed to. And heck yeah, so long as like, so long as you're safe, like, vaccinated up the wazoo, feckin' go for it. Not, sorry, not that you even needed my permission, my apologies. But it's going to be interesting to see how this huge, like, global shift, well, I should say, like, English, a shift in English language territories is gonna affect how video games get a whole bunch of money from us. Oh, Captain Steph. Uh, well, congratulations on Sunday. Cheers to you. God, what will I be doing on Sunday? Curling up in a ball and probably shivering, having spent a day in Subnautica again. <laughs> oh, yeah, so uh, I set the schedule for this week. Um, sadly, the Healthy Hammer Himbos aren't able to meet this Saturday. But that does mean we're going back to Subnautica. So... Oh, 
Oh, and um, sorry, Lizzie's mentioning and get Steph the Sunday. Apparently, I promised that everybody who's here for a year gets a free ice cream Sunday. Apparently, I promised this. <laughs> this is this is a poor financial decision. So, oh, Legend was saying uh, the Roaring Twenties happened because of a similar pandemic. Interesting point. Uh, and Agan Anarchy pointing out the vacation costs are going to go through the roof. I I don't think they'll spike prices. Um, I do think that by the time summer rolls round, uh, internal flights in the US are going to be chocker. Um, but these are just guesses. Like, honestly, this is a Subnautica on Saturday. That sounds cracking. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, Vanna Beast. Thank you for both the joke and the 200 bits. But uh, I'm, I'm super excited and incredibly fucking nervous. If you'll forgive my swears. Because Subnautica was such an iconic game and... It is literally all of my greatest fears bundled up in one experience. And yet, it was such an incredible story. It's such an incredible journey that by the time we, by the time it was, we were towards the end, I didn't want to leave. So I'm looking forward to going back to, to that experience. But I'm also terrified. Like, terrified and horrified. So there's that. Uh, what else we got going on this week? Oh, we're going to... Because uh, I think, um, Stammering, you're in here. Uh, we're going to try doing uh, Paradise Lost. Um, we're going to try doing that tomorrow. And... Okay, so Thursday's going to be chock a block. So... It is most likely that we'll be finishing control on Thursday. I think we're I think we're over halfway through the Alan Wake DLC. And so I reckon we're gonna finish it on that day. But on top of that, um, Fiona's back. Fiona's back and playing Resident Evil 7. And I get to sit next to her and watch. It's gonna be glorious. <laughs> Stammering's like trying to get too distracted with the conversations this time. In my defense, Stammering, in my defense, I hadn't spoken to you lot in days. Oh, Sandy, so um, Fiona's going to be playing through Resident Evil 7. Um, because I want to play through Resident Evil 8 and... 8 is a direct continuation from 7 rather than like a bit of a disambiguation. So... Um, I found a tiny wig that cost me one dollar. It was a small price to pay. <laughs> nom nom, thank you greatly for both the joke <laughs> and for two dollars. You feckin' legend. But yeah, no, I'm I'm content to wait and play eight once uh, Fiona's caught up. I don't know why did the family name their lizard Harry. You're a lizard, Friends, I wish you could see how deeply proud of herself Fiona was with that joke. I was so tired. <laughs> We'll leave you with the first cup, okay? <laughs> I woke up late. Well, Sandy's recommending you play Resi 7 in VR. Nope. <laughs> that was a no. Um, Fiona gets affected very well by spooky, scary games. And there's uh, somewhere out there on the internet, there is a glorious compilation of Resident Evil 7. Um, how can I phrase this? Uh, shitting Fiona up sideways. Oh, actually, speaking of Resident Evil 8, well, speaking of the village, um, they finished up the puppet theater, and it's a feckin' trilogy. It's a trilogy with a through story. With what little I can understand about Japanese, 
um, the the puppet Resident Evil is its own little like self-contained tale. Uh, if you haven't seen it, you deserve it in your life. Oh, and there's a, a teeny tiny piece of news. Dot um, MU are going to be handling uh, the uh, port of Zombies Ate My Neighbors. So they're going to be taking the classic LucasArts era banger and porting it to just about everything next month. So a glorious excuse, excuse to go back. Oh, Sadie was saying the store is streaming GTFO. Yeah. Oh. Sandy, it's so good. It's so good. Not Okay, not that you need me to tell you GTFO is good, but it's just... Oh. It's like... It feels like a combination of like a proper hardcore shooter and almost like one of those like co-op board games. <laughs> it's a self-inflicted panic attack. Yup. But one of the team we play with um, continuously does this robot voice to give at least just a, an unsettling but humorous edge. Oh, and I think we've cleared one level. Two days of playing it, one level. It's so good. Uh, Jackie, so they got GTFO. Uh, haven't played it since they got it like a year or two ago. I mean... It, you you have to have a team. Like, going in with three is a challenge. Anything less than four... It, it's impossible, like, like, doer or solo, in my humble opinion. But that's okay. And it's one of the things that's so great about the, the era of games that we're in, is that a small team can develop a title like that. They don't have to sell, like, five million copies to break even. So they can make it this, like, this distilled, intense, terrifying experience. <laughs> okay, okay, Sandy, I feel like I'm being personally called out here. Look, the glow sticks don't, aren't always the most useful, and sometimes you just want to turn one of the little areas into its own little, like, cool kid rave, you know? Sometimes it's okay to have a light stick, light stick rave party. Sorry, Sandy was saying, uh, does everyone come with one dingus that loves all the glow sticks unnecessarily, or am I the lucky one? No, it's everybody. It's everybody. And there's no joy quite like having a pack of glow sticks and finding a second pack of glow sticks and just being like... And then just... Oh, we cool! Uh, park programs, thank you kindly. Um, park programs picked up the heavy metal bundle over on Humble. Which is just a huge, honking great pile of uh, heavy metal comics. I haven't actually checked. <laughs> Sandy's... Sandy says, didn't know it was the dingus. It's the, it's the dingus rule, right? There's one dingus on every, on every team. And if you can't see it, then you are the dingus. <laughs> Sorry, Park Pro, I'm just like, I had to complain online to get you some more cash. Hey, it's, dude, it's appreciated, you know that. And I know it's a pain in the butt to go through, like, third-party, um, third-party partner links and stuff like that, but it all helps, so thank you. Uh, also, I'm not trying to, you know, sell you all games via Humble like a completely shameless shill, but, um, Shipbreakers is on sale at the moment. And they just rolled out the new uh, tutorial and start of main story mode. Also, AR, good morning. What, ho, friend? Okie dokie, Loki. I'm definitely gonna need more coffee. <laughs> Sorry, Stammering's like, you are the shilliest shill, but you're our shill. Aw, you don't know what to say. No, it's, it is one of the nice things about 
how the the humble partner thing works is it's not one of those like I have to you know I have to get everybody to ring that bell push that push that like button for for any semblance of being able to feed me and my many 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 guinea pig children um, it's pretty much just if you don't mind an extra step here is the game you were gonna get anyway um, actually so here's something I've been pondering I'm trying to decide games to play in my downtime oh AR you got two god that's probably from all the times I've forgotten to say hello to like uh, be a Dora and people um, so I've been trying to pick my downtime game at the moment and it's been an interesting little challenge I'd considered Borderlands 3 and I'll I'll say no more on that topic I know I've bored you all to tears with my uh, my my whinging which which stacks up to complaining um, and I've been trying to think of, of titles that I can kind of get stuck into that that aren't things that I'd really want to show with share with yourselves because they'd either be very very boring to watch or there wouldn't be anything that I can add or they're games that are of such an engaging level that I couldn't hold a conversation at the same time so I'm honestly looking and I know it's very very triple-a gauche but like picking up Red Dead Redemption 2 properly uh, I finally watched the um, artificial uh, loneliness video and it was very curious very curious um, and well so num num I've been playing Spelunky 2 but it's not at least for myself I can't play Spelunky for four hours non-stop because I kind of find like if I play it for like an hour and change I hit like a peak of ability and then there's a drop off Oh, so, okay, sorry, jumping back in, so, um, Park Programs is saying, so there's two heavy metals in there, there are a bunch of comics with stories based off of good songs, so there's a Tenacious D one, nice, uh, and Park, you are correct, um, Humble went back on the removal of the sliders, which I think, I, I mean, I obviously wasn't consulted on it, I wasn't down for their removal, but I'm glad they listened. Uh, Sandy says excited for the Dark Alliance re-release. Feckin' yo! There's a feckin' game. Now, it wasn't... Oh, we got a cutie. Hang on. It's somebody's gotcha day. Yours. Yours. We've had this little one with us for a whole, whole year. year. One whole year. You could use your nails he's done. I could do that soon. Happy birthday, nails done. She's like, mother, mother, I wish cuddles. <laughs> yeah. One whole year of this little bundle of joy. One whole year. I was looking at pictures of her from the from the post I made. She used to fit here. She was so tiny when you got her. <laughs> she used to fit in a teeny tiny little ball. Like, right up like this, not even on my t-shirt. But now she goes all the way up to my shoulder. She is a full nug. One what? whole nug. And J-Post. Give them a sub to Kisa, you feckin' legend. And do rivers? <laughs> do rivers? How are you doing, big girl? How are you doing? Yes. Um, God, I still remember when we, we we got her from the place, and I opened up the box when we got in the car just to give her some like little treats like, and stuff. Oh, well, we just, no, we opened it up to just kind of like that thing when you buy something and you want to look at it when as soon as you get in the car. So we wanted to look at her. And I was like, open the box, open the box. Will opens the box. And she just screamed at us. It wasn't even like a weep weep. It was like one big weep. And then we just shut the box. Yeah, she's not ready for this. <laughs> Little did we know that would be your voice. That would be. Yeah. She is definitely. Well, I guess that the Foster Boys are pretty good singers. I think she yes. taught them to sing. Mm -hmm. Don't smell my armpit. Don't be weird. <laughs> she does not want to be on camera today. Like, when she did the stunt nugget thing, she was way smaller. Because she fit on your head. And no, she does not really she fit, does not on, fit on, on my head. head. Stunt nugget! <laughs> she actually can, like, comfy sit up there. 
It, it doesn't feel sturdy. I'll, I'll level with you. Stop calling them foster boys. <laughs> Nice, nice well, fuck. We haven't had any interest in him, which is... We, we may... Ow! No! She just bite you. She did the thing where she grabs and then pulls with my collarbone. That's attached. <laughs> my love, that's attached. <laughs> Don't bitey, mommy. Yeah, River in full attention. You're his big girl. River's over here like, just love me. All right. I just you wanted to come in and show girl. people. Cuties being cuties. Like River's, River's got this whole protective thing of the guinea pigs, which is why we haven't set up a um, a River cam in here just yet. <laughs> uh, and Park Programs does make a good point that uh, using the uh, sliders on Humble, you can. Acquire games without, with by giving, whilst also giving the limited amount to developers that you're not a fan of. Um, oh, sorry. So jumping back, um, you know what? My brain is jello this morning because Sandy was asking if I'm excited for Dark Alliance. Was Dark Alliance the one that had Patrick Stewart, the one that got like a PS2 release? Because I think about that game a lot. It's just, I mean, it's probably because I'm decaffeinated, but I remember there being that whole explosion of like top down RPGs and some of them just being cracking. And unfortunately, it means a few of them kind of blend in my brain. So, like, Dark Alliance, Icewind Dale. Um... I guess back then, I didn't really have a strong idea of what the world of Dungeons and Dragons was like. Uh, this was still when I was, um, I was still elitist back then. You know, I'm not proud of this. It's it's neither cool nor big nor clever. But I was one of those. Oh, I don't play Dungeons and Dragons. I play Vampire the Masquerade. I was one of those dweebus. See, even the even the guinea pigs are like, being a dweeb. Oh, bear toast. Good morning, Watto. Coming in, coming in. Yeah, as Kisa says, don't be a dweebus. Uh, so Kisa's just Google Dark Alliance and it's giving me Baldur's Gate. What's well, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, right? <laughs> Sandy's like, we've all read the Book of Nod. Well, you're not a snowflake. <laughs> no, I've, I've talked about this a fair bit, but, you know, I was an idiot teenager, as most teenagers are. Um, actually, all teenagers are idiots. There is no exception. Um, and we had a tabletop group that we used to go to like uh, once a week, once every other week. And it was kind of split into like the D&D &D crew and then like the Vampire the Masquerade crew. And the vamp crew, of which I was a part of, we, had, we put on such airs. And you know what? Props to the people, the, the Dungeons & Dragons lot, because they were OG, like playing since first edition. And they took no offense at our, our slights. And looking back on it now, oh, we must have just looked like this bunch of like like toddler babies running around with our edgy, grim, dark fantasy stories. I imagine from their perspective, it was like watching Rugrats, but they all look like they're cosplaying someone from The Crow. Um, however, um, you know, it was a good introduction to tabletop stuff. It got me in, and uh, I cut my teeth doing Vampire the Masquerade LARP stuff. And LARP would end up being a really cool part of my life. Don't get to do it as much these days, but I feckin' love it. So... Especially, I mean, you got to understand that when I was desperately into that whole sphere of things, like, I think Buffy had just... Buffy was finishing or had just finished its final season. And, um... Oh, what was it? Angel was getting good. Spike had just moved over. The, the plot and the writing had been turned up to 11. 
You know, in a world where we got to see um, Puppet Angel. God, that episode is so good. <laughs> Sandy says, you're a Mokavian, aren't you? No. Um, I... Uh, Gangrel for life! But I... What can I say? I love dogs. But... I try not to... I try not to beat up on young Dweebus Will too, too hard. Because I'm... I'm lucky that I had uh, a good clique of friends back then. And that I was able to kind of get all of the the bad habits out of my system early. So I got all the, the whole like want to min-maxing. I got that out of my system. Um, I, and the I, When everybody gets into tabletop systems, uh, especially a tabletop system with a big fandom, you can get really obsessed with builds. Like a combination of abilities and items and powers. And I'm not against that per se, but very rarely in my humble opinion uh do those kind of like really well thought out power builds work the most fun i've had around a table with friends has been with the most useless characters and god i mean stop me if i've told you this one like 80 times but uh when they switched from vamp over to uh hunter which was also getting big around the time that Supernatural was happening. That's it's weird how those things have all kind of culminated. Um, but uh, I missed one of the sessions one week and ended up being given just this like basic, boring, no powers, washed up ex cop called Cop 90. And his only powers were he can punch a little bit good. Oh, and that he used to be a cop so he could call people. And that was it. And I had the most fun. Whereas previously, like, I've been building characters around, like, you know, one specific style of combat. I was doing the Animu shenanigans thing. And, God, I built this one, I built this one vampire. Dude was, like, smooth, sharp dresser with, like, a straight sword. Like, I was going for this whole, like, you know, I don't know, post-blade, edgy, dark nonsense. Because... Again, Tiny Dweebus. And built this character to be incredibly rich and incredibly murderous. But as you may or may not know, uh, Vampire has a couple of quirky little systems. Uh, one of them is going berserk. If you take too much damage, you can just lose your shit. Uh, and the other is vampires do not like their heads being cut off. They are very against that. Um... You can put as many bullets into their undead chest cavities as you like and they'll be mildly perturbed, but lop a head off and they're having a bad time. So, first encounter, first fight. Uh, I leap on top of a cat, uh, of a, uh, of a taxi cat. The idea being that I'm gonna kinda like leap down and do some like Zatoichi level nonsense. And a character I hadn't seen just empties a clip into my back. I fail all of my sanity checks, go berserk, kill everything. I don't mean I just killed, like, the guy who shot me and his, like, vampire hunty friends. I mean, I killed them. <laughs> I killed every civilian because I kept failing the roll. And then killed the rest of the party. So we had to restart the feckin' campaign because I basically TPK'd with this automated decapitation machine. I was like an angry spinning top of murder. And that's not fun for anybody. Oh yeah, no, Bacon Avenger, absolutely. It was a Vantru swordsman and he was a knob end. And it was just, it was that realization that being exceptional at something in a tabletop game isn't always good. I don't know, I'm, I'm back on, uh, I'm back on the Pratchett train again. So I'm reading uh, We Free Men. That's my, uh, my bathtub book. Because uh, you can't really relax and reread House of Leaves. Like, you can't, you can't just have a soak in the tub and just, you know, crack open some, some, <laughs> I don't know, trans-dimensional horror. Hmm. And Kestrel, what ho? Oh, I was talking about um, old... Um, tabletop games and how playing a incredibly 
um, like min-maxed competent character is less fun than playing a complete idiot or someone who's mildly useless. Um, Sandy says Mort for the win. I considered rereading Mort, but I realized I haven't actually read We uh, We Free Men, so because I've got like an old copy of Mort just kicking down there. <laughs> Graphite's like, I don't know if the rest of the party's not ready for one of their friends to, for one of them to frenzy on them. That's on them. <laughs> so Kestrel said, old tabletop games. Kestrel wants to use the Staff of Wonder and shrunk themselves to three inches tall. Consider how short I am in the real. It's nice to feel tall for a bit. <laughs> Understandable, understandable. Oh. Like, I know um, Tal's been playing a lot of RimWorld and I've been watching, oh God. I've been watching a lot of, I say, okay. I don't get to watch a lot of uh, streams on this website, twitch.television, because I spend my days hanging out with you lot. So unless someone is doing like a late night stream or if it's like people over in, uh, like New Zealand time zone and stuff like that. I don't get to watch a lot. But at the moment, I've been watching a lot of my friend uh, revisiting DayZ and like the OG mod, like classic modded pre standalone DayZ. And I don't know, it reminds me of how far we still have to come in video games to be able to catch up to the pure imagination of tabletop. And the reason why I keep thinking about this is that, you know, DayZ is an, at least. Okay, it's not stable, and I don't know if I can even necessarily call it good, but when you start thinking about it in the same way as like Dungeons and Dragons and stuff like that, when you start thinking about it like a, a space to generate stories, it becomes something very, very different, and I'm all for that. And then when you think of things like RimWorld and um, Dwarf Fortress and like super duper systems on systems on systems like type titles that can themselves then generate these wonderfully ridiculous stories. Like, we're still a long, long way from being able to just step into that kind of space as a character and get a similar experience that we get from like the, the free creativity of tabletop. Uh, I have no idea how long it's gonna be before we get it, but I'm feckin' down for it, you know? <laughs> Staring saying in one of their games, uh, one of the characters is playing a barbarian vampire lord. One day, they will rage, go too far and kill everything. In the meantime, I'm building up my stealth so I can hide. <laughs> um, Varbles has been watching a lot of uh, GTA RP. It's fascinating. Yes. Um, I... I think that if someone can work out a way to create a good commercial something if someone can create a way for things like gta rp to be commercially viable i think we'll start seeing more of those like um uh group storytelling type games um i i will say that i find some of the gta stuff to be very uncomfortable to watch um but you know what? We don't we don't need to go into that sphere. Um, I wonder if anyone's done it with uh, good old Red Dead Redemption. Sorry, uh, I watched a, a thing on, uh, as I was saying earlier, I watched a video on uh, artificial loneliness. And Red Dead Redemption 2 was often cited. And it's made me want to, like, tear into it again proper. Oh, Jafar James, Watto. Uh, Bacon Avenger says, uh, wild magic rules have a chance to surge, which can make from wild chaos times. Fun dependent on how well the DMs and payers can roll with it. I mean, there are different kinds of tabletop experiences and I'm all for like the challenge dungeon and stuff like that. Um, 
one of the things that uh, one of the systems that I love is Mage the Ascension because it's designed to be interpretive. It's designed to be improvisational. However, the very systems that govern the world are designed to allow the 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 storyteller to flick players who try and min-max too hard. The the very idea of the fra uh, the fabric of reality, the paradox means that if someone starts trying to do shenanigans, you just flick them with the paradox until they go, oh, I'm sorry. Or they get consumed by monsters from outside of space and time. Uh, Kestrel says they've had some experience with Red Dead Online. Oh God, I <laughs> would not recommend. Uh, Jafar James says there is Red Dead RP, interesting. I mean, it's not something that I would necessarily stream for your lovely selves because the downside with RP sessions is I can't just hang out. I can't just chat to you when I want, you know? Oh. But I do find it fascinating. Um, while Warcraft having dedicated RP servers I thought was interesting. Um, and it was interesting having multiple RP groups in that space moving around. Though there was very little in the way of additional tools for role players in that space. Whereas the, if you haven't seen it, like the GTA role play setup, there's a ton of additional functionality that they've modded in essentially. Uh, Casual says, I can't help but wonder why some games just seem to attract the jerks. Uh, it seems to be any title that has an IP that reaches outside of like core gaming space with a large number of individuals and very little like moderation or oversight. Um, so, you know, Grand Theft Auto reaches outside of gaming because it's a crime. It's you're doing a crime. Like, pick a crime movie. You're in a crime now. Um, anything involving military shooters that's available across console is a very simple concept to understand. Shooty gun bang, let's go. Uh, oh, sorry, AI was saying Tailspire does a pretty good job. I don't know that. Um, Cause I'll put my hand up, like I own my, my loveless teenage years. Uh, I spent two years, three years on a uh, custom Ultima Online server is very clever had you know race class cities the whole shebang and i learned a lot from playing that um it was full rp only so it because it was a fan run server and technically it's against the uh, technically it's against the ultimate online eula to run fan servers but they don't seem to clamp down on them um one of the things that's very interesting about that is that you had to submit a character to be allowed in. Like, it was it was a free server just being run by a group of fans that wanted to make like a D&D style world. And they made their own custom map, it was utterly gorgeous. Um, but you had to submit your character and... I thought that was fascinating. Whether or not you could do that for a commercial product, I don't know. Like you'd need to have like some kind of scalable, some kind of scalable model. Now it does, having a role play MMO does have the same problem that traditional role play game, uh, traditional LARPs have, which is essentially like the, the power curve. If you aren't at the start of a story, it can be very difficult to catch people up and to become a part of that because you need to level up skills, you need to become powerful to be involved with plot. Legend says they missed up. Same, same, but it's not gone, it's just dormant. Um, long running LARPs have similar problems where character uh, people who've been playing one character for a very long time can become very pivotable it is very pivotal in main story and it can be different to, to balance stuff like that um i've been chatting a lot with um uh tobias who you might remember from the depth uh days who's who has run like 
um, professional LARP systems in the past, and it's fascinating to hear the way they overcome those challenges. Um, I mean, I think it's only Stammering and myself from the UK LARP crowd here, and they have... There's a big LARP system in the UK called the Lorian Trust, which has been running for donkey's years. And they have a real problem with trying to balance the experience for people who have just showed up with their friend for the first time alongside someone whose character is like 15 years old. You know? Uh, uh, Kestrel says there's a thriving Atlas RP server too. Interesting. Uh, Kisa said it would be nice to get something online, some online RP that lets you have freedom of things. There's VR chat roleplay on Twitch Callius Row. I I feel like that's interesting in concept, um, and I know what you mean. Watching watching people be in VR is a very uncomfortable experience. Uh, I I will say though, um, from when we went through Half Life, Alex, thank you everybody that stuck with for that because. I don't know if I would have gotten the chance to play through it all if I hadn't had you lot with, so. Uh, Kestrel has a friend who got really into MUDs. I... I'm trying not to dismiss MUDs in this conversation because they're hugely influential. And they've been a massive part of all of the, the kind of like the digital roleplay scene from the very get-go. You know, the ways in which people emote and how uh, character actions are described. the challenge we have is somehow coming up with systems that are able to be as reactive as reactive as you know chatting across the keyboard with another person uh, Jafar James is the one to watch LARP uh, if they cannot participate uh, they might not be good at it I mean LARP's definitely one of those things that you never really know until you throw yourself in the deep end. Um, however, creating a LARP that's fun to watch is an interesting challenge. There are a few different teams doing some interesting things. I'm trying to think of some good examples here, but my brain's going completely blank. Good work, Will. Good work. It's not like I'm going to be the conversationalist here or anything like that. Um, yeah, no. Uh, Park was saying Cosmic Patrol is a fun RPG for pure story and the LARP mentality people. Okay. Because I feel like, um, what was it? Uh, AI Dungeon was an interesting experiment in uh, dynamic storytelling. And it worked within a certain confine. Um, AI dungeons very easy to take off the rails very quickly. And sometimes, even if you don't, it goes to some very, very weird places. But... Oh, Nom Nom says they're going to put uh, Blackout Club again into the conversation. Now, I heard Blackout Club described as... Ugh, and this sounds like the kind of thing that I shouldn't be allowed to talk about on uh, Twitch.television. Uh, soft roleplay. Um, the idea that you do not need to make a character in the world and go full RP ham whilst playing it. However, the very nature of the world and the way in which it reacts with you almost puts you into a roleplay setting in certain parts of the game, you know? Uh, Alleged Watto, uh, today, today we're going to be playing Say No More. So any of you that was ever an intern or a runner, any of you that's ever worked an open plan office or had to deal with bullshit co-workers, um, stick around because what I present to you will be a form of... Um, uh, agitated catharsis. <laughs> but, so Nom Nom, it is fascinating when you think about it because all of the interactions with the gods are done in universe. So, like, if we look at the mechanics of it, it is absolutely another person, like, 
you know, acting a acting a role. You can't. I don't know if I can necessarily call them role players because I believe the people playing the voices are either staff members over at Question or people that they have in to do those voices. Uh, again, I've actively avoided finding out. Um, I've active. I've actively avoided finding out how they do things uh, until the main story is over because. I don't want to know how the source is made quite yet. But I mean, it'll be curious to find out. Uh, sorry, that was me getting uh, distracted once again by myself. Um, but no, it is curious to have a game that treats you directly like you are part of the experience. Oh yeah, I should be, I should be a vaguely good host. Oh, it's not on humble. Darn it! All right. Stop that incessant clicking. G post, you fucking legend. Hunter of House Carl. Uh, J post, thank you for gifting us up to a legend. That's fucking cool of you, yo. <laughs> What was I doing? Oh yes, I was getting you the link for the aforementioned video game. Oh, here's a strange uh, aside to the RP conversation. Um, so the gentleman that made V V V V V V V uh, and Dicey Dungeons uh, has released a new game, Inside Roblox. There is a giant, there is a giant person inside Roblox that you can climb. Oh yeah, um, I'm desperately trying to remember the gentleman's name and I hate that I'm drawing a blank. But yeah, it's a free game inside Roblox and it's a very, very challenging uh, puzzle platformer. Not too dissimilar from the tower from The Club. Ah, The Club. Rest in pepperoni. Um, and Park was adding, I've recently learned of a cool thing at modulate.ai. They have an SDK to allow for real-time voice changing. So I'm excited for the day of multiplayer games where in your game chat, you just sound like the character you're playing. That'll be fascinating. Like, taking away the obvious, uh, the obvious bad word implications of it. The idea that you sound like your character in that space would be absolutely fascinating. Especially for anything involving like an RP kind of style. Because quite often, anything involving that kind of like voice comms, it's very hard to keep a character voice going for just that length of time. I mean, I know some people that use um, uh, voice modification programs to just to mix up their voice on the general day-to-day. -day. But the idea of it being themed around the character you're playing, like, feckin' y'all. Park Program says, uh, I am the Hanzo now. Or the gruff one day away from retirement cop and keep talking and no one explodes. <laughs> Jackie's like, just inhale and talk with your throat the whole time. Oh, that's how you get bad times. That's how you shank your voice. Oh, sorry, I just... Jack, he was having flashbacks of when I destroyed my voice at uh, Gamescom one year. Um, oh. We had a stage presentation we did once a day, but we didn't have a stage monitor or an earpiece, so we couldn't tell how loud we were being. And if you've never been to Gamescom, it is violently loud. Every hall is this, like, 
constant uh, battle of one-upmanship between the different um, areas. Uh, God, Sony had a faux Chinook in one of their rooms, and they'd fake spit it up to such a volume as to as to rattle the very fabric of your being. Anyway, so we're doing the stage presentation for Total War, and we're supposed to like drum up a crowd, get people round, give out some freebies. Um, and we did that for five days, and it just obliterated my voice. The guy running audio for us was, uh, in his spare time, a thrash metal singer. And he showed me this little trick where you get, um, like, aspirin and paracetamol uh, and a cough drop. And you smash the shit out of both. Um, and uh, pour, the, pour the powder into a glass of water. And so what you do is you take a mouthful, gargle it, swallow it. Another mouthful, gargle, swallow. And it will allow your voice to continue. It's not a cure, it's like a like a temporary duct tape patch that allows you to keep going when you absolutely have to. Only... It... Yeah. Once we were done with that point, uh, I was physically mute, which was a very strange experience, let me tell you. I try not to obliterate my voice too, too much, because I like talking to you lot, and if my voice is gone, then I don't get to. Um, anyway, so friends, I have been very excited to show you this game. I believe it was announced at one of the PC Gaming E3 shows. Um, though I warn any of you that has worked in like an open plan office or has been an intern or a runner or what have you, this is probably going to start bringing back some flashbacks <laughs> before we then unleash... Uh, a torrent of no's. So I'm just, I'm saying, prepare thyself. <sighs> Shall we? Anytime now, video game. Anytime. Uh, Kimball said, a <laughs> friend of them bought them this as homework. <laughs> uh, we are going to do a damage. Do I want a controller for this? Do I need a controller for this? Let's say yes. Boa Cat, Watto, coming in, coming in. We're about to say no more. Just say no! <laughs> Alleged was an intern at a radio station, so the fear of shredding paper is real. There you go, Obsidapan. Now you can do it too. Everybody, say no more. Yeah, some more emphasis in there. And Lizzie, I was talking about the title. I wasn't talking about you lot. It's so chipper. It's so chipper. <laughs> go. <laughs> right, you lovely Mother Hubbards. Shall we begin? Oh crap, we've got to create our own intern sona. All right. <laughs> no! 
All right. Beard. Beard. We get chin. Is it chin beard or nothing? Cool. <laughs> I'm going to block your face. <laughs> Just. Ah! There is a lot happening at once here. <laughs> Kyle was like, they look like they've already had enough. Yup. <laughs> Alright, Feck trying to create any any sensible human. We need to create our own like intern sonar. Now we can do. Glass is for definite, but let's go for the proper chunkers. <laughs> Alright. Fashion choice, here we go. Hey, C triple two, Watto, Chrono, Watto. Coming in, coming in. We're uh, just making our intern sonar before we get stuck in. Let's go for the let's go for the rolled up sleeves. <laughs> Shifty jumper. Dodgy t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, this has got some kind of Katamari vibes to it. Oh, that's gloriously hideous. Let's be let's be Hawaii uh, Hawaii shirt. Hawaiian shirt in the office person. Though bow tie is very tempting. All right, bow tie or horrific Hawaiian shirt. I can't choose. Bow ties are cool. Bow tie says professional, you're right. So everyone's voting Hawaiian. All right, leg wear. Oh yeah, no, definitely the flares. It's either shorts or flares, what do you reckon? Oh, the skull buckle, God. Wait, why did why why is it not just purple? I think the flares is gonna be. <laughs> ah! I just want to say this character is amazing. Uh, see, I don't want to go for the jacket because it covers up. It covers up the uh, the monster that is the Hawaiian shirt. This is amazing. Oh no, no, no barefoot in the office. No, God no. Don't don't be that person. Like, I'm not okay with people that go barefoot on planes. Socks, yes. Barefoot. Oh god, why? Uh let's see if we got the option. I don't think we can do flip-flops, Kisa. Uh, Kestrel, you're right. They do need mismatched socks, which uh, also feel a little bit called out about that. All right, hang on. Bear with me just a second, dear friends. The sun has decided to be an absolute jerk. I look even pastier. How is that possible? <laughs> uh, as Kyle was like, please don't wear flip flops in the office for reals. Yup. I'm. This is one of the lovely things about potentially the shift to work from home is I. 
You could work on a game project and not have to tell someone, don't wear flip-flops in the office. <laughs> Jackie's like, I feel called out. <laughs> Alrighty. Compliment Cap Wato. Uh, we're just about to say no more. We're just... We're just making our intern Sona. Yeah! Are you done with cha uh, designing your character? Yup. Okay, this is us. <laughs> We're gonna have a lot of fun today. Alright, how do we say no? No, no, no. Yes. This is amazing. You can't ask me to choose one. I wonder if this is going to be the language of the game or just what our character says. Yet. 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 Wow. Keys is like, just what do you say? The second spoil. Wait, wait. No. No. Kestrel, it would be amazing if we could turn on just cycle mode, so every time we scream no, it just picks a random one. Oh god! No! Sorry, I just saw c Triple Two's comment. So, on their flight back yesterday, a person across the aisle took off their shoes and socks, then folded themselves up in their seat so they could shove their feet in the seat back pockets in front of them. Ah, no! Oh, uh, Kimble, I wish Scottish was a choice. No! Uh, Mandarin one was very was very special. Um, the one that it, that impressed me was Irish Gaelic. I mean, that one's got impact. Yeah, Chinese Mandarin one is got this got power behind it. <laughs> we just got an achievement for saying no in every language. I'm so happy about this. Oh. So I don't know if this sets the language for the game, or if this is just. I thought Russian would be more. Uh, Russian and German would be more aggressive. Okay, so Kisa says it's just the know that your character says. That's it. Okay. Oh, and Rogue, Watto, coming in, coming in. <laughs> Irish Gaelic, so tempting. Are we still going for... Kisa is a fan of Japanese one. 
You're gonna have to hear this a lot today, so. Irish Gaelic one is. That's not a no. That's a. That's a powerhouse. Me and me. The, All the time. What is, what is... German surprisingly calm. Nine. What? What's? What's Irish Gaelic? Okay, so his his German. Okay. And German two. You expect it to be more fighty. Yeah, I want it to be like nine. Uh, but then Irish Gaelic. <laughs> I forgot how long some of the words can be. Right. Okay, why is it just not no? Ni anime. I don't know. Ni anime. <laughs> it kind of sounds like ni anime. Oh, yeah, and uh, I need to show you Mandarin one. <laughs> <laughs> this is quite possibly our selection for today. We're learning Mandarin. I don't know, I think it'd be really funny to do it in the Irish Gaelic one. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? It makes me laugh. Play this game, please play this game, P. I will. It sounds like I will, and I'll do it in Irish Gaelic the entire time. Yeah, there weren't any other, like, super duper standouts. What was English too? I mean, English too is. It's more like having a strop. Sounds like a bro. No, 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 no. Please, please don't do that in the office. No. Sounds like English, like actual British. So that's the British version, and then there's the 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 American version. No, 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 no. Yeah. Who the fuck is Scottish? Well, there is Gaelic. Uh, that's gonna be the sequel, which is called Say Fuck A Lot. Fuck! Fuck me! Fuck, fuck me! me! Neg Negatory. <laughs> this game's <laughs> <laughs> Mandarin sounds like constipation. No! Legend <laughs> man. Oh, the fuck is Scottish? Fuck you! Nine, nine. It's just, it's, it's too polite. Nine, nine, no, 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 no. Italian's pretty smooth. Japanese is fun. <laughs> this is where we spend the next like two hours just, just trying to decide. Yeah, or Australian. <laughs> <laughs> Pixie Druid with say nah a bit. <laughs> say nah. Yeah, yeah nah doesn't really work. Yeah nah. It's the DLC pack for it. Who is that, that for? Uh, that would be for New Zealand. Say yeah, yeah Nas. Nah. <laughs> yeah, nah. yeah, nah. I think that's also Australian. Uh, it's a Glasgow mod. It does. Wraith is very disappointed, but there's a lack of um, Scottish in this. We should be able to mod in New No! <laughs> no! I mean, Wraith, we can get you for that, and then we can submit it for the game. Probably. If you want to get like real angry and scream into a microphone for like an hour, <laughs> uh, like, I noticed there wasn't any uh, there wasn't any Scottish mods. Here you go. Keith uh, is saying it's between Japanese two and Mandarin one because. I mean, that one. That one's good. It's That's very anime. Really good. It's very anime. Bloop. Yeah, she's C triple two. You're right. This is a game that needs like voice activated nonsense. I feel like Irish, Irish Gaelic two is just not trying. Okay, so what is our what's our top three? We can do like a little poll. So it's Japanese two. Japanese two. Mandarin 1 and Irish Gaelic. It's gotta be, right? Alright. Hopefully it doesn't pause the music. No, it doesn't. Alright, so let me set up a poll for you, lovely.
Oh, darn it! It doesn't have the points! Oh, Osterling, have a lovely rest of your day. Uh, the locust wholeheartedly appreciated. God, it's just. Did this whole game is so gloriously cheerful. The, there is some serious points voting going on for Irish One. Okay, it is definitely between Irish One and Japanese Two. The 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 battle rages. I tell you what, friendos, let me go pour myself a cuppa. I'm just going to pour another coffee very quickly. Um, and as you lot are doing battle for which flavor. Yeah, there is there is mead points plenty being spent. Irish is up to 109 votes. The Japanese is just over 100. So this is this is going to turn into a war of like fastest finger first. Lordy, lordy. Uh, right, I'll be back in two seconds with a cuppa. You will decide on our voice. Whatever you pick, I will go with. So, like, spend them if you got them, friends. <laughs> Kestle's like, ha ha, I have a ton of points. Bring the thunder. And I need more coffee. I've only had one today. Also, look at this. I made another robot. I forgot to post this. Look, look, I made a little robot mark. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm easily amused. That one's pink and it's got a jet on it because it's right cool. All right, back in two seconds. Uh, they're battling on the poles, and it's brutal. Feckin' yo! Also, feckin' yo! J-Post, Graphite, 
Spooky Ghost, Lord Lost, all of you, thank you kindly. There is a war raging for which voice pack we're going for. Racing the uh, Chinese made a strong pull, a strong comeback, but Irish has once again pulled out into the lead. Eventually, you're gonna run out of points sometime, right? <laughs> We're only halfway through this very long poll. Yes, it is, to a certain regard, it's reducing the dab light savings time. But how are you doing, you lovely Mother Hubbard? As a bunch of people... Uh, Wolf's like, trying to make Chinese happen, but it's not working. You should join forces uh, for Japanese too. Because Irish 1 seems to be like the focal laser point for a lot of people. What happened? Why? Why would you do this? Wow, okay, Graphite Sparrow with flex there. Counter! Oh! A true battle takes place! Graphite said no. Graphite said no. These dark powers, these dark machinations! I actually don't know what I'm saying. I'm just speaking nonsense. Oh, Wabin, you nearly have me. Captain on the bridge. Oh. Falazio? Wato? How are you doing, friend? How long is that? Second. Yo ho! Uh, you know, just 31 months at a tier 3. No big deal. No big deal. Second. Thank you. Okay, the polls seem to have slowed down. Irish is still leagues ahead. Uh, so, Roki, uh, Roki, you must have gotten in late. We've already made our intern Sona. <laughs> we made our own custom intern. The pompadour chin strap beard combo was especially alluring. I should turn that off for a sec. Hmm. And alleged interesting, but uh, I haven't given it too too much thought. If I'm being honest, um, I I'm, I'm gonna wait until Baldur's Gate Three is kind of content complete before I think about it. And I'll probably do the same thing that I did with um, Divinity 2 Original Sin, which is just play it with like a squad of friendos. Oh. Although Keys is going to go for Druid. Oh, both Irish and Japanese are duking it out. It could still change. There's like 50 points between them. <laughs> Joe's like, wait, you can't import, import your Baldur's Gate 2 character into the third one? Flips table. <laughs> what do you mean my thousand-year-old save won't be imported? Dang it! Alright. It has been decided. It has
has been decided. Kaimbo's like, my wrist hurt, but it was worth it. Hey, Wolfrad, you gave it a good innings. God, that was a rapid fire fight. My, my hands hurt in sympathy for you all, just kind of mashing points buttons. But with 42% of the votes, this will be our no. <laughs> this is us now. Is that the wizard from Wizmard? Alright, so is everybody ready for us to get into this proper? <laughs> there we go! That's the correct answer. I said, are we ready to get into this? And like... Uh, Lizzie C triple T everybody's like nope 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 or Yannick Mene All right, shall we begin? Are you ready? <laughs> no Ah. I thought by smashing the no button there might unlock something Fizzbin Games presents. It is Wizmarder. Wizards of Nay. <laughs> These imps are guarding the Devil King's tower, protecting the Devil King who kidnapped your best friend. Le Gasp! Do this to cast your most powerful spell. Three, wizard! You can't defeat the Devil King. You can't even defeat me. Pathetic! Three, wizard! You can't defeat the Devil King. You can't no. I've been defeated! No! The spell of no. 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 no! Foolish wizard! You may have defeated the last imp, but I am the Doormaster Imp. Oh shit, I'm Doormaster Imp! Than the bridge imp. I was super Three, into Doormaster Imp in my youth. Fool. Wizard. Are you kidding? Bad wizard. You bring anguish to yourself by being here. Your quest will fail and you will perish. <laughs> you bring anguish to yourself by being here. Your quest will fail. And you will perish. All I'm hearing is that you're having some very good D&D campaigns. Nay! I perish. <laughs> Him. You're here for the Devil King, who kidnapped your best friend. How rude. Yeah, I'm not going to stop you. Good luck, wizard. Ah. Once and for all. He's just the janitor. Just need to charge up my energy. Wait. Come on. Earn. Charging. I feel I'll you. I'll beat him. you up so soon. I'll swear to the Devil King. And Kaimbu. It Come would be on. any game Charging. that lets you refuse the hero's call at the beginning of games always makes me smile. Nay! Yeah, I didn't have time to wait three episodes for him to charge up. You're here. The Devil King is your best friend? <laughs> no! Your best friend is actually the Devil King! How could I have known? What will you do now without your hat? Without your source of power? Hmm? Can you even cast your most basic spells? Try it! No, Go what on. a twist! I dare you! Try it! Go on! I dare you! <laughs> what was that? I can't even <laughs> nay! Your bravery stat is too low! You can't cast any spells! Well, any last words? Just one. Oh, Nay! Come on! Oh, we super died. Hey, sorry, I'm late. Are you playing those forbidden video games again? They're illegal, you know. Because they use that word. Nay. Oh, come on. I'm just teasing you. 
Illegal video games. Oh, I can't believe it's your first day working at a real office. We've been applying so hard for one of those. And <laughs> now you have one. I'm really proud of you. Oh, so I have something as a little celebration. Ta-da! I made you a lunchbox. And I cooked you lunch too. I was about to say, yes, sir, if favorites. these are psychotropics on my first day, let's oh, feckin' go. Wait. One more thing. Um, since you have, like, a real job now, and I'm still looking, would you be able to pay this month's rent again? I know we talked about this. I promised I wouldn't ask again, and again, and again. But I mean, I'm still looking hard, you know? And have, uh, um, uh, well, um, you know what? If I keep you any longer, you'll be late. So I don't yet know the word no. I only know, um. The first day of work goes really well. Have fun. Call me up. Who was saying about the, um. Oh, Kes was saying they love the animations of this. Yes! Oh, wow. We have a lot of no to say. Oh, Park, I didn't want to mention that we would be using the forbidden words Welcome in case Mr. Twitch her. found out. Hey, you're late. What's your excuse? Hmm. Answer me, intern. Uh, huh? What? You can't just mumble around here. I'll fire you before lunch if you don't learn how to talk. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Great joke, supervisor. <laughs> you don't like my joke? I'll fire you. Sir, sir, I'm gonna piss in your coffee. Also a joke. We like to have fun around here. What a fun workplace! Anyway, get to work, you lazy. Oh, right. Almost forgot. Motivation speech incoming. Welcome, interns. <laughs> Welcome to your first day at our company. It might seem scary, but it'll be a big learning experience. You learn so much about how the world works, but know that you have to be open. You have to say yes to everything around here. Yes. Great start, but I mean literally, okay? Yes. Good. Literally say yes all the time. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. It's all about being a real team player. You just gotta be... Positive. Yeah. So, let's have a practice run. I am hungry and I really want that lunchbox. I say, hey intern, give me that lunchbox. What do you say? I say, come on, give me your lunch. I'm kidding. Nobody's gonna take your lunchbox away, intern. Not yet. Ha <laughs> 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 I'm gonna burn your car. <laughs> And, uh, where are our desks? They are somewhere around the vending machines. So make your way to your desks, and when you get there, work! Just absorb all that experience, you know? And don't forget, be open. Say yes, and you'll get promoted or something. Ooh, I'm gonna get that promotion! You do say yes a lot. Yes. Chapter 1. No problem! So, the animation's cracking, and it's a great example that if you can have a consistent um, animation style, you can get away with loads of lovely ridiculousness. Intern, make me coffee with milk, okay? <laughs> what kind of sound oh, was I'll that? I'll take a coffee as well, but without milk. Why are you still- Yeah, yeah, whatever. The printer is champed. Fix it, will ya? Good, I don't care. Welcome to the intern corner. A bit icky, I think. Oh, it's just authentic. Yes, authentic. Great. Oh, your desk is over there, behind the vending machine. Hey, dorks. I need two interns to do some lame and boring work. Yes. Follow me. Uh, yes. Hey, intern. Funny story. Remember when I asked you to give me your lunchbox? Turns out, I actually forgot my lunchbox at home. And I need one for later, so... Take my food! Lunchbox. In turn, I am your supervisor, 
And did we not just go over how you are always supposed to? I'm gonna burn his car. I'm gonna go in the. I'm gonna go in the parking lot and I'm gonna set fire to his car. This what? Yeah, that sounded like a yes. It was the opposite of a yes. Thanks, intern. <gasps> what did we just find? What could it be? Me? Just start your internship and get destroyed by your co-workers. Your supervisor probably just stole your lunch. And the problem is, you're too scared to say anything. No. Well, you can do it. I believe in you. No. You need three things. No. One, no. this tape. No. Two, confidence. That's right. Believe in yourself. Oh, believe in me that believes in you. You gotta believe. Ah. Good. The other thing you need is just one word. The word no. Just do this. Say it with me. No. Come on, try it on this chair. Make me coffee. Me and me. God. Do it again. The Gaelic's making it very strange. But I want you to fix my problems. Me and me. You are so good. Listen, I know it's outrageous to say no these days, but if you don't use it, jerks like these lunch stealers will always win. Let's start trouble. You want that? No, right? Me exactly. Me. No. But wait, there's more. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying jokes this. Jokes with a juicy no confuse the heck out of them by laughing at them. Do this to laugh at this dude. <laughs> Inter. Hey. Ha, hey. What? <laughs> laughing is mean. Ah, oh, phew. You're done laughing. Anyway, in turn. Do this stupid. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. Never. Ha, huh, you've stopped. Now, where was I? <laughs> what? Hey. Stop <laughs> laughing at me. <laughs> laughing is mean. <laughs> what? <laughs> laughing is mean. Get out of my house! <laughs> Funny, right? No. Laugh at idiots to feel better. I am valuable because I have power. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh at idiots to feel better. What I say. God. Truly great. Hey, why is this not funny? Why is this not funny? Why is this not funny? Why would you laugh at me? My confidence is shrinking. Why would you laugh at me? Get out of my house. You did it. You are now equipped against me, people. Now go out there and get your lunchbox back. One last thing. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. <laughs> and leave a comment below if you've got anything to say. <laughs> you are really good at this. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you are amazing! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! God, this game is glorious. And leave a comment below if you've got anything to say. You learn well. I have the printer. I need your print, intern. Hello, did you copy me to make my coffee? <laughs> Why must you laugh at me? What? Huh? Why must you laugh at me? me oh. I need soda. Half strawberry, half grape. And what? Laughing is forbidden. I'm just gonna laugh in grape face. Why must you laugh at me? Stop laughing. Huh? <laughs> laughing is rude. Me, 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 me. Oh, there was a triple combo. Hey, Stooge! Now let's laugh meanly at this supervisor. <laughs> Stooge, how are you doing, dude? How was your morning? How are you doing? How was your show? What? Oh, and welcome! Also, I'll break your face too! <laughs> Out of my way! He's got my fucking lunch! I'm not telling a joke. You are right. Go away. The lunch was only Bastard! You were great today. Because I hate. Huh? That's a true. Your outfit is terrible. Today. Yeah, you laughed at my outfit, but I don't. I have a chin strap beard. I don't care. Please come with me. I want to show you my new video game. 
Follow me. Okay. Please play my game. It's only a prototype, but I hope you have fun. Okay, branching pods? Alright. Fight me, Mons! <laughs> Fight! Tiny Pokemon used hug instead! Photosynthesis! Photosynthesis! I'm not your supervisor. I'm just a plant. Ah! Just a hungry plant doing plant things. Yeah, no, there's plant definitely no plant. supervisor here. Only kidding! Clean the coffee maker! Hello! We need milk! I'm gonna keep laughing at you, buddy. <laughs> Please leave the kitchen in turn. You are out of line. Do do you apples and pears? <laughs> oh, this is not funny. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> weak. What kind of weak response was that? You are funny. Anyway, shenanigans are forbidden in turn. Shenanigans are forbidden. <laughs> Stop this now. Intern. You think you're funny, intern. I think I'm pretty funny. You're, laughing, intern, so you. you're embarrassing yourself. Now, where was I? Oh, right. Please leave the kitchen, intern. Huh? Huh? You think you're funny, intern? Okay, that's it. Haha, <gasps> <gasps> yes! Flip the tape. Flip the tape. More powers! I'm so ready. What happened? Did you get crushed by some jerk who won't listen to you? No? What a butthead. Don't worry. I'm here to teach you a new kind of no. <gasps> He's gonna teach us how to say fuck! No. It's easy. All you have to do is hold your no <laughs> and then let it go. But be careful not to overcharge, my friend. I am so strong. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Whoa. Chris Ultimate no! And in this episode, Pikachu says yourself. fuck! What can help <laughs> is to make them feel awkward, which is where you can really use the laughing technique. Give him another charge, no. And if you can't, try laughing at him. No. Try it again. No. Okay, so. Again, not again. You stopped. <sighs> no. Charge that no. <laughs> try it again. Again? No. Charge that, no. I'm trying. Not again. Laughing hurts my guard esteem. You've stopped. Jeez. You've stopped. Where was I? Oh, okay. So there's like a cool down if we feck it up. Pick a pick! Um, okay, sorry. Jumping back in. So Stooge finished up Chronicle Keepers and Subnautica. Lovely. God bless the cuddlefish. Okay, so yes, we got to mock them to recharge... So we're gonna build up our awkward meter for an ultimate. No! That was awesome. But be careful, not everyone reacts the same way. You've gotta try different things to see what happens. You're ready. Good luck. Let's begin. So I told you you can't distract me in turn. So charge up with some awkward laughing, and then by the power of ultimate no. Yes. And then Ardu again. <laughs> the guy who told us smile more as we blew him off the first floor onto the ground, he went, It's okay, I suck. It's quite possible you just broke that guy's bones. Hey, intern, turn off that music. Bosses, 
I'm so sorry. Shindir Hatukin! That's the supervisor of my floor. I'm so sorry to interrupt your meeting. This intern chased me and overcame me. This intern? Yes, this person was disrespectful and mean and... You were intimidated by an intern? Yes, that intern is using that word again. What word? Tell them. Come on. No. I don't get it. We don't allow weakness <laughs> in this company. Yes, and that's why you have to go. What? Wait, please, have mercy. You are fired! Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> well. Excellent firing technique. Thank you. Zero room for weakness here. Now I should fire that troublemaking intern as well. Oh, and Tenari well. What, old friend? Here. Wait. I need a new supervisor, and I do like how intimidating that intern is. Don't you want a promotion? Hmm. This, oh. Oh. I like this intern. Are you serious? <laughs> but seriously. Hmm. The silent type. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Whoa. Unglaublich. <laughs> wow. What strength. We got the promotion. You have to work with us. Yeah, come on. It'll be great. You have a... huh. Is this really happening right now? <laughs> but seriously, you have exactly the qualities we need. You're right. We won't take, um, not yes for an answer. In fact... <laughs> Oh, I... <laughs> huh? Let's celebrate! Intern, bring some coffee for your bosses and your supervisor. Yes, right away. Here you are, boss. Fresh cups of coffee. Oh, where's the supervisor? You're looking at him! Boof! What? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Come on. Don't do that. Stop laughing. <laughs> Great start. Chapter two, friend or no? Crypto's like, what did I just join in on? Welcome to say no more. Oh, this game is a, a cavalcade of everything happening very quickly. Okie dokie. Uh, so, Stu, I'm sorry you didn't get the cuttlefish. Because it's one of the most adorable parts of Subnautica. Um, but I will say, I love the way the, the time capsules work. And... The idea that when you find one of those in game, that is someone else somewhere in the in the world has left that just for you, oh, makes me smile so much. Uh, friends, if you haven't played through Subnautica, I cannot recommend it enough. Uh, Subnautica Below Zero, while it is out, it's going to be content complete as of Friday, so we're taking Saturday to just spend the whole day on it. Uh, I'll probably be playing very slowly because. Subnautica is simultaneously my greatest fear, but also a brilliant game. So I have this kind of divide by zero. Like, Thor was the one that bullied me into playing the OG Subnautica, and he was entirely right to do so. We've been waiting for Below Zero to hit the same kind of point. And yeah. Oh, so no, Night Valen, we're doing it this Saturday. Because Caffeine's been grinding on work and schoolwork. And was like, hey, could we do the first Subnautica session on a Saturday? And the Hammer Himbos can't meet this weekend. So it's all kind of, it's all coming together. Oh yeah, so Night Vale and our GTFO team is called the Healthy Hammer Himbos. Um, Joe Moon said they like the tutorial of Subnautica. 
I don't did Subnautica. Subnautica didn't really have a tutorial per se. I guess it presents itself initially as a standard issue survival game, but underwater. And then, oh, and then it becomes so much, so much more. So yeah, let's let's see how our uh, our intern our intern journey continues. Oh, there we go. All right, ah, that person's very dead. Congratulations on your promotion, intern. Too bad we can't move you to a better desk yet, though. The place is just so full, you know. And it's a real bummer that the president fired your supervisor. He sounded like such a great guy. And they just threw him away. Makes you think. I mean, if I was president, I don't think I could fire someone. Ever! After all, we're all buddies here in this office. We're all hanging, man. Huh? Just one big office family. And there you go. There's the family like an office. This is your desk. Unbelievable. Everyone, can you believe that the intern has to work like this? What? Look, I can't just let you work here like this. We're a family. <laughs> I have to sort this out myself. How about you get a cup of coffee or something? Take a little break at the water cooler. I'll fix it for you. That's what friends do. Inter, get me coffee. Hmm? Hey, you need to order paper. I was trying to print out this 200 page book this morning. <laughs> I ran out of paper. But <laughs> hey. Uh -oh. hey, stop doing that. You gotta say yes to people. Don't you? No! no! Expected this. You are so rude. She's right, you know. <laughs> I shouldn't have expected this. They'll learn their lessons soon enough. Hey, do you want to listen to my dreams? Sure. Someday, why not? I'm going to quit this place and be a baker. You do that. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Anyway, back to the grind. Thanks for listening. Oh, sorry. I'm not taking used tissues off of anybody. And I will kick that guy into the water cooler. Are you enjoying a cold drink of water? Hydration is important for your health. Where are we and going with this? That cool water, think about saying an ice cold no. Why is it called a cold no, you ask? Because to do it, you have to imagine you are a penguin in the Antarctic. Penguin in the Antarctic. Sea lion offers you ice cream, even though he knows you've just had your dessert. <gasps> that bastard! Is the last thing you could ever want right now. Uh, As the penguin, you tell this sea lion. No. Just like that. Swap to a cold no by doing this. To swap back to your heated no, do this. Let's try a cold no on this. Work through lunch. It's my fault, but you have to work through lunch today. No, oh, different I element types? Shit, yes. Even though I know how much the team can do. I see no. Hey, it's so cold. <laughs> yes! <laughs> you are unbelievable. Oh, hey, you want to learn another trick as well? Just clap at them before you say no. Do this to clap at their ridiculousness. So we can Don't laugh at them. At me. I see no, golf clap. My confidence. Huh? Clapping is very rude. What? Hey. Huh? Hey. Ajay! Look at you go. I'm sorry. I need a fucking moment here. Forgive my swears. But fuck this game. I didn't realize I was going to be unlocking like element types. Oh. Oh, and Krypton is entirely right. Any company that describes them as, we're like a family. Yeah, I remember what my family was like. I don't speak to many of them. Oh. I'm not saying, Kisa, I'm not saying I ever doubted you, but there's, there's levels. This place is going, this game is going places I did not expect.
and I'm okay with this. Have fun doing this in the real world. In turn, bring me lunch. Go outside, hey. <laughs> Stop interrupting me with your clapping. I'm not gonna go buy you lunch, you piece of shit. Hey, what? Whoa. Icy giant, no! In turn, clean my car. I have to pick up another co-worker later. But my car is like super dirty. <laughs> I need to what? Huh? What? Clapping is forbidden. So it's a laugh into a charged icy. No. I need money. Don't get me wrong. I only need it because I won the lottery. You see, I need to pay an advance fee to access the cash. What? Nothing. But. You get a heated no, you money-grabbing bastard! No. Intern, sit here and do my work. I need to go line up for a copy of this new game that's launching today. Uh, hmm? uh, I know. <laughs> well, uh, Ultimate icy no! Intern, close your eyes. This is gonna be... And... Ta-da! <laughs> anyway, I gotta go. I have a bunch of meetings. Just wanted to look out for my bud. Let's hang sometime. See ya. Mother fucking ice stealing bastard. Oh, not you again. <laughs> you can't distract me, intern. <laughs> Stop this now. It's shenanigans are forbidden, intern. Oh, okay. So you have to. Af intern. It's only if you Stop affect you someone you can charge your you fet you meter. Me, intern. Hang on. Is it just. Uh, jumping back for a second, uh, Kaim was saying, uh, the head of CA told me he expected me to be part of a family. <laughs> oh. one, one of these days, Kaim, we are going to drink long into the night, and there will be many stories. Joe Mutant says, uh, so when you end the stream, can we just go, no! I mean, I think you can stop me raiding, but that's another story. Yeah, and I'm with you there. Like, c Triple Two is like, we have two more directions. What are the other two element types? Like an electric no? Spicy no. Uh, and, uh, Bo Cat's like, I feel like I worked for this guy. This is why I felt like anyone who's worked in like big open plan offices is probably going to have a bunch of flashbacks play in this. So a sexy no, a wet no... Oh, the, as Stooge says, the most powerful spell in Adrea. Nope. Ah. For a time, the four no's, the four no nations lived in harmony. Oh. Enough. Get out of here, bunch shenanigans. Are I see no. Buddy, nice to see you. Give me my fucking lunch. Need to be done before the end of the no. day. Whatever. Staring contest. Are you ready? Go. <laughs> you know what? This guy's cool. <laughs> I think I blinked. You win. Enter Tammy. I'm so bored of work. Do something. Yes. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, this, this guy is anti kerfuffling and must go! I need a meeting room upstairs. Ugh. I want a room just for myself. <laughs> He's getting a spicy no. Careful. This pillar is a bit unstable. Now leave. Oh, there's no way I'm not gonna smash the pillar. In turn, can you please bring this to Sane? It's important. Yeah, sure, why not? Thank you so much. He's over there, but I'm a bit too busy. Hmm? I'm busy, go away. If you have something for me, just throw it in this bin. Me, yeah, what is it? It's a love letter. Love letter? Oh my gosh. I'm sorry about my husband. He's so embarrassing. Look at the letter. <laughs> Oh, this game is amazing! Oh, thank you for giving me the letter. We helped the cuties. Picture a dog! I am a door. Door 
door, door, door. <laughs> I'm in the way. Fred, is that door I'm talking? Door. Have I finally snapped? Door, door, door. Like, I'm in the way. Right, I, I am a door. spilt something on the coffee this morning, if you know what I'm saying. Door, door, door. door, door, door. I'm in the way. I am a door. It's a perfectly normal door. No. Just one again. Hey, my door. Oh, come on, I just oiled it. Hey, buddy. You okay? Buddy? Oh. Give him a feckin' lunch! Whoa. Calm down. I'm poor and Floyd. Huh? You're about to get destroyed. Why are you staring at my lunchbox? Oh, you think this is your lunchbox? I know it is. This is definitely mine. <laughs> You're gonna die today. Give me a break. I'm just a humble colleague of yours. Sitting in a small. Jeez. Oh, oh, jeez. Yeah, Boa Cat, we have a penchant for games, you know, like Everhood, like this. And I was worried this was going to be. simplistic. Um, wow. Where did this place come from? Hello, manager. Welcome back. Manager. Your preheated slippers are waiting for you, manager. Do you want just online. to put the Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Poggers. Well, it'd be, it would be no of the game, so... Nog? I have to think about that one. No of the game. <laughs> Sorry, get to the boat. How are you doing? Uh, and thank you for... How many is that? 27 months bleeding, Nora. Uh, yeah, Noggers, definitely. Um, <laughs> Kessel's off to make supper. All right, it was lovely hanging out with you. And Vanderbeest, thank you for filling the pie glass. Right, let's keep going, shall we? Uh, intern, isn't this weird? Crazy, even. Where did all this come from? I didn't even know this existed. Manager, your cherry blossom trees arrived and were planted. Everything is ready for your daily constitutional. Uh, this must be some other boss's office. Your manager. Um. Uh oh. B -b buddy? Uh -oh. You're gonna die today! Hey, buddy, well met. Welcome to the buddy plane. This is the office of our manager, aka Buddy. Are you applying for a position as a buddy? We are actually hiring. Me oh, hey. buddy. Cook the manager's lunch. Me yeah. me buddy, sign this contract for me. me. But... Ultimate no! Smile, buddy. Me 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 buddy, you like this statue? That's pretty great, right? I would... Oh. Uh -huh. oh. No! I'm okay. <laughs> buddy, tell me a joke. You like jokes, right? Everyone does. And we are both buddies. That means we are like the buds of the jokes. <laughs> oh god, I think that guy. Yes, buddy, replace all the trees. I just finished setting them up. Stop right there. This is very important. I love this garden. Anyway, that's it. May our body ship sail safe. He really likes the garden. It's a bat. The manager wants bats in this cave. Like a I'm like a go to the zoo and bring some pay. I'm not stealing bats from the zoo, you weirdo. Go back down. You're not supposed to be here. Hey. <laughs> Oh, I'm heated now. This must be a conspiracy to make you think that I would steal your lunchbox. I'd never steal from you. Sir, the word no may sting, but the fall will fucking kill you! Okay, 
Okay. I lied. This is actually my office. Oh, office. I'm oh. Bravo, Dingus. Sarcastic clapping. <laughs> oh. yeah. We're buddies. Come on, buddy. Remember the good times? When we were buddies. When I'm gonna I see a man die tonight. <laughs> Fun manager, president. Did you change offices? I remember yours being smaller, more pathetic. Um, yes, it's impressive what you can do with a bit of feng shui. It's fantastic. I take it. Take it. You all get my desk. This is my new office now. Of course, president. Wait. What about my office? Why? It's going to be even bigger than this one. Oh, really? Yes, because your new office is on the street. You're fired for hiding this from me. Fired? Oh, nice lunch box. Leave my goddamn Sony alone! Oh, wait, wait, please, leave the desk. We're, we're friends, please. I, I demand that you stop right now. Come on, manager. We were never friends. <laughs> he learnt the forbidden words, but too late. I don't think this office is very structurally sound. Meeting time. Okay, DJ's with us as well. The Break the pillar again. Don't you dare. Oh! <laughs> know thy enemy. Also, I. You have to. This was 100% triple no! Staring contest! Rematch! My junior, and I'm here to defeat you. Ready? Go! Yeah, they're drying up. Why are you so good at this? Damn it, I blink. You win. I have to report Stop. this to the champion. Right there. Look, if you keep this up, bad things will happen. Do you see how close our office clock is to falling down? So, you can't move forward, man. Mm -hmm. Feck your clock! Ugh, so rude. Anyway. So, first. Sorry, I just need a, bit, a little bit of sarcastic clap charge, and then... Hadunokin! Oh! Nope, this is definitely a concussion. what you're thinking? Well, it can, and you need to slow down to rest and recuperate. Imagine a world where instead of working all seven days, we get to work five days and rest for two. Or, even crazier, Working four days and resting for three. What so madness is this? Get those rest days. Get some rest at work by using a lazy node. The other element type is lazy. Mustering up all that energy. Yes. Just so. Nah. Nah. And use that energy <laughs> elsewhere, like at home. Yeah, nah. Swap to a lazy no by doing this. Let's try it on this dweeb. Do my work. I don't want to do any of it. No. But I still want to get paid. Nah. I nah. Oh, okay then. Yeah, great job. Excellent work. One way to use all that saved up energy is to nod. Give people that hint that you might say yes to make the no just that much more devastating. Just do this to listen and nod. So we've got clap, laugh, nod. That's a medium macchiato and a large cup. Yes. Save your energy and time for the important things like life outside of work. Remember, you don't need work or capitalism to self-actualize. Shit, this game's getting real. Yes. 
Remember, work lazy. No interns allowed on the meeting room floor. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Shenanigans are forbidden, intern. Uh -huh. You can't distract me, intern. Uh -huh. Stop this now, intern. You can't distract me, intern. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Stop your nodding. Stop this now, intern. Uh -huh. Shenanigans are forbidden, intern. Stop this now, intern. Uh -huh. Enoch, you can't distract me, intern. You can't distract me, intern. Lazy no! Don't go in there. Are you sure you're ready for this? The supervisor's a coward, and the manager's selfish. But I guess you're strong too. Nah. Ha, you'll be fine! Welcome <laughs> to the meeting room floor. No, you're mm. meeting room floor! Learn the schedule! I nah. have my vacation, but... Turn around and leave. <laughs> no! And that's why I call it power time, not overtime. Oh, good timing. Everyone, this is intern who will tell you more about the topic. Later. She said power time is unpaid. Is that true? On the contract it uh -huh. says... Uh -huh. Huh? Uh huh? Uh huh? Uh huh? You seem like you're listening, but it's actually irritating. <laughs> Saying yes all the time, right. That's the solution, I guess. Um, huh? Let's okay. go for a big old heated no for this one. Look in the bright side, I guess. Mm -hmm. huh? hey, did she say we won't get an evening bonus? Mm -hmm. Fantastic mm -hmm. news! But we don't get that pay until the end of the year? Mm -hmm. I can pay rent and eat! <laughs> Thanks for clearing it up, intern. I wasn't sure what the president was saying, so we'll do it your way. I think I just made sure everyone got intern. paid. Go to the pharmacy. I partied too hard last night. No. Oh, Hello. Yes. Oh, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. What? No, you're not interrupting anything. I'm just at work. Oh, and she came. Pick up my food. I left it in the microwave. Nah. I'm good. That's why I wouldn't call it union. I say it's more for tear parts here. Oh, good timing. <laughs> This is intern. We will tell you more about the topic later. It's not overtime. It's we power time. We have Terapartian representatives, which, according to the staff list, are the bosses and security staff. No. Great And we have to give the Terapartian money, even though it's not the same thing as a union. No. But the president said, real unions only want our money, and that. And I quote, unions are not in our best interest. Wow, I wonder what this game's trying to say. <laughs> oh, Welcome to High Speed Corporate Catharsis, the video game. How are you all doing? Oh. Seize the means of production! Can the president actually prevent us from starting a union? I mean... I know it says I can be fired for starting one, but does that mean I actually can't start one up? No! Start a union. Oh, that's what the president wanted. Got it. Intern, did you get my email? I sent you an email. Nah. Not my order. <laughs> good morning, intern. Hello, good morning. Are you not going to say good morning back? How rude. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Come on! Nah. Bad morning! Bad morning! Intern, write the meeting minutes! And you need to make sure to write everything! <laughs> Not a fucking chance! Ah, intern. Take off your headphones for a moment. Don't worry, you get a chance to put them back on. You're here for this lunchbox, I assume? You know, it's fascinating. It's been a long time since we've seen anyone who could use that word. It's like our plan went too well. Even the supervisor and the manager were soft and complacent. But you see, in turn, I never dropped my guard. I knew someone like you would show up at some point. Someone who can wield that word. No. The power it's of no. It's a shame you're still so weak. And you're even using a crutch. Go on. Put on your little super suit. It's time for your one-on-one -on -one evaluation, intern. I want you to hit me with everything you uh -huh. have. Mm -hmm. Pathetic. Mm -hmm. Is it out of your system? <laughs> Pathetic. Huh? 
<laughs> Pathetic. Finally, mm, no. yeah. It's time for your one-on-one -on -one evaluation in turn. All right. I want you to hit me with everything you have. Full power impact? No! Yes. Again. Uh-huh. In turn, uh-huh. My self-belief is an uh -huh. Which? Mm -hmm. You can't hurt me with sarcastic nodding in uh -huh. turn. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Are you done with her? I can play. In turn, in turn, in turn. <laughs> Finally, now, as I was saying, yeah, Krypton, it is a literal boss fight. Again, nearly kill it. Yes, Nick. Yes, <laughs> no, That's fuck it. your desk. That's the best you can do. Nearly <laughs> You got me good, intern. You really did scare me for a moment. You did scare the manager for a moment. I had dared to dream that finally someone might defeat me. I gave you all the rope you could need, intern. Let me show you true power. This is what you could be, intern, if you weren't so weak. Oh! <laughs> You lose, Inter. <gasps> oh, how could What's my journey to know be defeated so soon? Yes. Here it comes. Finally. You are... Bong. Bong? Bong? Lunchtime. Hooray! Huh. Oh, uh, finally. Hooray! I was dragging, am I right? What was I doing? Oh, uh, uh, saved by the bell, I guess. We'll continue our talk after lunch then. Dismissed. Give a tasted lunchbox! That was amazing! That intern fought a boss! Wow! <laughs> Let's go to lunch, buddy. We have to talk. Yeah! <laughs> the ultimate atomic no. This game's going places. Let's. Let's take a let's take a moment. Let's take a breath, just because the sheer amount of everything happening so quickly. <laughs> um, although it's interesting that um, because what this game came out this year, that any other year this probably would have been tied into whole like GDC Games uh, Union movement. Which has kind of stalled without like physical hangouts. Oh, lost flowers? Watto? Watto? We're saying no. Actually, we're saying uh, Irish Gaelic no. So we're learning today in this glorious, like, um, like, intern revenge em up. If you've ever worked, like, an open plan office or a corporate job, this is just glorious pastel soaked catharsis. It's just great. Oh. Oh. There we go. Lunch time. Knowing me, knowing you. <laughs> Puns for days. That was incredible. Yeah, we can't believe you did it. You actually fought a boss. You must be crazy. Yeah, but the intern still lost. That doesn't matter. That's right. You were brave enough to put your foot down. And to use that word. Yeah, that... Hey, that word is still forbidden, and we all know it. I don't even know how you're still employed. I would have fired you by now. Well, a few of us were talking... Someone's a little other. salty. Will you please have lunch with us? Sure. I'm not hearing that word. It's gotta be a yes. Yay! Let's go to the nice park with the food trucks. Oh yeah, let's go. Oh, now I want food truck food. Uh, food trucks? We can just eat at our desk. It's way more efficient. Yeah. 
You are right. Okay. Well, you two, do that, Ben. We are going to the park. <laughs> Woohoo! So mad. They call him the Novakeen. Yes! I'll never be able to say that word you're using. I wish I could, though. Every time someone comes up with something dumb. It's okay, though. Not everyone needs to be as cool as you. You can do it. <sighs> you can be like, me? Oh, you need me. You think so? Yeah. It seems tough. Learn to use the power. To say it. Do it. I just need some practice. Go for it. <laughs> Maybe later. I'm going to train my own little fast. army of fighters. There's always so much work. I always end up staying late at work. Don't stay late! Don't panic me. You are right. If there's too much work, it's the manager's fault. They can hire more people or coordinate better. I deserve my free time. <laughs> I'm too scared to dance. I've always wanted to join, but... I always feel like I'm going to embarrass myself. Everyone embarrasses themselves dancing. Maybe Go for it. Time. Me, oh, it. Do it. Yeah. These people are my friends. They won't judge me. I'm going to dance. Yeah. I'm glad you joined us, Kato. <laughs> that word you're using is dangerous. Psh. Maybe the interns were right. The ones we left back eating lunch at their desks. They're sad. Maybe there's a reason. Who strewn so desks? No. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. This word is powerful, and we should. Also, we're just hanging out in a tree yeah. now because Tell reasons. Of who are in the rock. I wonder how much of this we would have missed I if we'd said no to hang out for lunch. I was kicked out of a meeting for laughing. But laughing's awesome. Is my laugh that bad? <laughs> oh. yeah. Huh? I don't deserve it? Yeah, you're right. Next time, I'll tell him that his face is gross. <laughs> then try hitting him with an office chair. Also, there's an alligator here, because reasons. My puns are bad. I like to tell jokes, but no one likes them. Oh, that is... I guess I should stop. Huh? Never. <laughs> High speed, no. Really? More puns. But they are pretty bad. You have to be a real glutton for... Punishment. <laughs> That's a literal alligator who didn't appreciate. Or does. Apparently, we're now making friends. Let's get food. Yeah. yeah. Mm, I'm so hungry. One falafel sandwich, please. That I'll sounds good. And a durum donut, but without onions. Coming right up. Okay. One falafel sandwich. Yay. One pho. Yum. One dugum duna. Extra onions. I asked for one without onions. Oh, uh, um, uh, would you still take it? Use the word. Use the word. You've learned this. We've trained you. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I understand. It's our fault. I'll make you- I mean, I'd like to joke that this is like a, a dramatization, but if you've ever seen British people be- uh, British people in restaurants, <laughs> like, this is exactly not what I ordered. Uh, in fact, you appear to have served me a gravel with some light spaghetti sauce. Do you want to take it back? Oh, no, 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 no. I'll, I'll, I'll still eat it. Crunch, crunch, crunch. A new one. Zero onions. <laughs> Krypton's like, welcome to the resistance intern. Lad, lad. How do you feel? I feel incredible. Let's eat. <laughs> yeah, so good. <laughs> food. I love food. I love lunch. <laughs> I have to remember to change my face. Huh? You don't have any food? Don't you want to eat something? Hey, wasn't your lunchbox stolen earlier today? It was. Right? I saw that. The supervisor took it. Really? I thought it was the manager. I saw him with it shortly before he was fired. Wait, he got fired? Wait, you didn't know? By whom? 
she took the lunchbox. <laughs> oh, okay, that's it. Then, Get you a balcony it? on your skyscraper so you can Get cackle. Oh, new buddy. Let's go back and get that lunchbox back. How? You know how. We use the word <gasps> new. Oh, uh, not really. It's new. <laughs> ah! Friend, please this teach fucking us. Game. Are you in? <laughs> All right. You all ready? Uh huh. Mm. Are you ready? I can do this. Just a small burger, please. Without onions. But would you like fries with that? Ah, um. Uh. Whew, this is harder than I thought. <laughs> mm, mm, I. Can you say it first? Come on. Oh. <laughs> no. I'm on a diet and I don't want any fries. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hooray! I'm ready. Go. Wraith, we haven't just started a gang. We've started a revolution. People are gonna die today. Sick banging moose right now, and never do any of them ever again. I. It's. Uh, <sighs> no. It's part of my self-expression, and doesn't bother the people around if me. If it doesn't bother the people around you, then it's okay. Yeah. I'm just waiting until we encounter the boss fight of person that microwaves fish in the office. All right. Are you ready? Hit me. Get me a coffee. I'm closer to the kitchen than you are, but I'm lazier. Ugh. Mm. Mm. Come on, you got this. Come on. Me no. my there we go. Make your own damn coffee. I'm so bored of making your coffee for you. Aiko, I find it's best if you don't think too hard. We're in trees because reasons. Or as I call them, treasons. feel bad. Sorry, so sorry. That's good. Keep going. Okay. Your puns are terrible. Well, to that I say, okay. Big spicy no here. Come on, you got this. You got this, Finley. A big spicy no! You're being unreasonable. I didn't think Moose would get their own character in this one. <laughs> AR says that they had a boss do the fish hey, thing. Happening? They microwaved well, you durian for revenge. I'm gonna need you to go ahead and stay in all night for a week. What? But my plans. I. I like that the gators just become our little friend now. I'm busy this evening. In fact, I'm busy every evening. No more overtime. No more overtime? You know what? I just love how unabashedly this game is wearing its its message. Hey, president. Huh? What's this? Oh, hey, nerds. Wait, is lunch already over? I was so busy being amazing that I forgot to eat this lunch. Give that back to the intern. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously? Pfft. Go back to work. You can do so much during the cutscenes. You can Excuse change your stance. Me? What was that? Go on, once more. Nothing. Oh, you cowards! Me. What did you just say? She has a no shield. So rude. Oh, hello, intern. I'm glad you're back early. Now we can finish our meeting. Hmm. Where were we? Oh, yes, your evaluation. What? Intern, intern, intern. Good. Where was I? <laughs> you were going to fuck yourself! Okay. Good try, intern. But again, your performance is lacking. Zero! To cooperation. All those people you could have helped. <laughs> Try harder in turn. Zero! Three, communication. Can you even say uh -huh. anything? Mm -hmm. No more stalling, mm -hmm. No more stalling, <laughs> no I can't charge my no powers. <laughs> you need to try harder in turn. Zero! 
leadership. You lead us fools to hope. Nothing. Nah. Nah. Come on, intern. Wow, hey! <laughs> Good to see you. I was just about to hit up the arcade and... Did you just buy lunch? Where's the lunchbox I made? I understand. Don't worry. It was lame anyway. Hey, had any time to think about... You know... About the rent. It would be so helpful if you could cover for me one more time. Um, okay, you know what? Take your time. I gotta wait, have I lost my nose? Hand. I've lost my powers! You have friends? Huh. Not even much of a friend if he can't handle rent. What a loser. I guess that's why he hangs out with you. So he feels better about himself. What a bunch of losers. Super second oh. tier no. Huh. Alright, you ready? Hit me back. <laughs> Come Come to overcharge there. Don't underestimate your power. Hame! Hame! No! Someone's gonna die today. How can this be? You I said switch to a, an icy hot no. You're empty. <laughs> oh shit. Now, as I, was I biffed saying, the timing, I'm sorry. I was trying to be too overdramatic. <laughs> You're empty. You've got nothing. You're empty. Krypton. You're right. This isn't even my final form. <laughs> what was that? Uh, that other intern is fighting the president. <laughs> what a bad joke. Seriously, look. What? <laughs> I see. I underestimated you. Also, in my bones have been broken into a fine powder. To become this strong, my final evaluation of your development. Five out of five. Give me my pissing lunch. The, the intern defeated the president? Amazing. Wow. Yeah! What's this commotion? More rebellious employees? CEO, I... Not you two. Guards! It's time to make things right. Everyone, what? big company meeting. <gasps> now! Le gasp! Hey. Nice lunchbox. Cool. Uh, the intern. Oh, you're fired too. You know that, right? The intern. <laughs> the intern. Don't underestimate the intern. Okay, if you say so. Can you please get up and pack your things? You can't just lie there. Oh, right. <laughs> I am severely Sorry. broken. I have been dropped from this building. Come, my darlings, come. You don't want to miss the show. Uh, seminars, I mean. I, your wonderful CEO, welcomes you, my workers, to say yes. More! Working here oh. is more than just work. It's a lifestyle. We're your family now. Boo! And family says yes to each other. Family helps each other, grows together. It's time for all of us to open Why am I in a cage? To become real team players. It's time to say yes. Do you sometimes feel like you're trapped in a cage? 
Fun fact! The cage is a metaphor. <laughs> Life wants to cage you, but you- The cage is a metaphor! Be yourself! Why not if no one's getting hurt? Be as weird, as strange, as normal as you really are. Break through this metaphorical cage of life. How? With the wacky no! Yeah. Ah, the final element Swat type was wackiness. Wacky no so we have heated, cold, lazy, and wacky. I need you to stable together some papers. But because I did it wrong, you need to unstable them first. Rearrange them, and then staple them again. No. The charge up for the wacky no is singing. You know I love it. I fucking love it. It's time to learn how to respond to requests from co workers sarcastically. <gasps> We've unlocked sarcasm! Consider everything you'd rather be doing instead. So do this to go, hmm. Excuse me? Oh no, that's uh... uh what? Excuse me? Wait. Mm -hmm. Are you fucking me? Little bit. Mm -hmm. Excuse mm -hmm. me? Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. yeah. Another! In turn, join my upside down triangle scheme. Mm -hmm. huh? Let me think about I that one. Go, go feck yourself. You are so good! Now return, my prodigy. No. You can do it. No. Which is why I decided to have a debate. Ooh. Ooh. That's right. It's not enough that I just extol the virtues of yes. We'll pit them against each other to show you who's right and our first contestant, totally randomly selected from every audience member. Is that intern over there? Yes. This is going to be great. <laughs> mm-hmm. That lass is gonna snap and kill someone. What's your name, kid? Uh, Noah. What a cursed name! Don't worry, my dear. I will rescue you. With my CEO powers, I will remove that poisonous word from your name. You <laughs> Fan beast, thank you for filling a pint glass. Ah. What? Just ah, my blessed intern. Good. <laughs> ah will represent the yes side and. On the side of not yes, we'll have a very special guest. In a cage. Other intern, who's been causing so much trouble. What's your name? Ah, okay. Good. But seriously, your name intern. What's your name intern? Our name is incredibly name loud. Name. Wacky no! That is not a name intern. Name. Then, one that suits someone like you. You are now called Noah. Did we just steal his name? Uh, <laughs> yep. Course, that's... We are debating for something more than pride. The winner of the debate will be given this lunchbox. All right, knives out. Oh, neat. Wait, isn't that your lunchbox? Round one. <laughs> Oh Please crap. Let us speak, Noah. What do you say to that? Mm. Oh, what now? Tough question, isn't it? It is a tough question. Mm. Please let us speak, Noah. What do you mm. know? <laughs> Please let us mm. speak. What now? Or I could just yell, "No!" Wrong. I'm sorry. The right answer is yes. Nothing wrong with skipping lunch now and then. Next question. Your supervisor needs you to stay late. What do you say to that? <laughs> I laugh maniacally and then scream <laughs> no. I wasn't listening. <laughs> What's the joke? Please let us oh. Nah. Let's be cackle maniacally. <laughs> For a yes. Yeah. I'm sure you were. Question. Your boss needs you to copy some papers. What do you say to that? 
Oh, uh, doesn't the boss have, like, a secretary? Or, you know, the boss could copy the papers themselves? Hmm. Tough question, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, hmm? can I please... Oh. Oh my. Unfortunately, the right answer was yes. Next question. Your hey. needs you to take out the trash. I'll take a, a quick breather. Tuna, how you doing, friend? Watto! Food recommendations. Uh, I'm a Swedish family. Where is Swedish family? I need, I need a general location tuna. Also, Wata, we're playing Say No More. And it is a glorious cavalcade of, of anti-corporate, wonderful, coffee-soaked vengeance. No! Okay, so, Jay Post, thank you for gifting a sub to tuna. That's feckin' cool of you. And that does mean the turn takes the, uh, the Yaldum. Graphite Sparrow, your Yaldum was brief. But memorable. Eternal, what will you do with your newfound powers? What do you say to that? Wait, what? I, I'm, I'm confused. Don't we have janitors? Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just using sarcasm to win a debate. What now? Why are there suddenly bananas? Big one. Your CEO needs you to pay her parking tickets. <laughs> what do you say to that? What? Hmm? Uh, uh, well, I mean, you, the CEO, uh, how do you mean? I'm gonna go for some heated sarcasm before you scream no. Hey, what are you doing? to hear yes you have unpaid parking tickets what <laughs> no way and you wanted me to pay them <laughs> uh, anyway you're doing pretty badly noah huh not you what do you have to say to that <laughs> what now <laughs> what now <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, Tuna's asking, what's the concept of this game? Uh, you are an intern at a brand new company, and above your desk was hidden a tape in a cassette player. The mystical power of the forbidden word. No. So, enacting the powers given to you by this mystical tape, you are now able to say no to your co-workers, and thus begins a, a tale of unionization and, and deconstruction of the corporate machine. <laughs> it's a gloriously silly game where you just scream no at people. Uh, we've made our own intern Sona, uh, and we went for, what was it? Uh, Irish Gaelic No was our selection. Um, and yeah, so, all right, uh, where are you roughly in the Seattle place? Because between Fiona and I, we can probably recommend you some crack in food places. I mean, heck, there's a bunch of peeps here that'll probably have some recommendations and all. I'm not sure where Swedish family is. But with the power of general regions. Whoa! Now that's what I call a heated discussion. <laughs> Let's take a short break. Break, 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 break. Okay. No, no break. It's time for questions from the audience. Hello, yes, I have a dilemma. My coworker plays his music too loud. He just tells me to deal with it. Should I just deal with it? Go! <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> You're right. Why should I have to deal with it? Yeah! Just wear headphones. Interesting. Well, next question.
question. You! Uh, is it normal that my deskmate keeps sniffling? She's tried lots of things, but she just keeps sniffling. Why am I the weird one? What's going on? Answer them! <laughs> Didn't think about that. Yeah. yeah, it's not normal to keep working when you are ill. Yeah. She should go home. I'll tell her that. This game's very honest. Uh, so turn us around. Oh, near Cal Anderson. So you're up near, like, Capitol Hill. That space between, like, downtown and um, Cap Hill. Right. So I guess how much time have you got? Because if you're south of Cal Anderson... Um, God, you know where you're not too far from? You're not too far from the honey hole. Uh, the honey hole is an inappropriately named sandwich place that does incredible sandwiches, all of which with lovely innuendo flavored names. Next question. Yeah. And you're right, Stooge, I can say, hmm. No, no. Yes. I can sarcastically no, hum. <laughs> Do I have to go to my co-worker's party? I don't want to, even though interesting. Go on. I thought about this all night long. Yeah. Anyway. I don't want to, even though I like my co-workers. I really do. But not enough to give up an evening for them, you know? Should I go? What do you say to that? Yeah, anyway. yeah I think you're right. Jim, I won't be at your party tonight. Okay. Thank you for being honest with me, Brenda. <laughs> Frickin' you! Well, time for the next question. You! Tell me what's wrong with you. Do I always have to buy the milk? Like, it's always... Go buy soup? Didn't think about that. You do not have to go buy the milk. More than just the dairy procurement yeah. officer. I'm bored. Then stop drinking milk, you monster! No wonder no one wants to sit next to him. Um, so Dax, right? Rhinehouse is very good, but I'd recommend Rhinehouse as like a as a group place to go for an evening. Like, go play bowls. I know you're not a drinker, but I like, get some like big old um, Bavarian style foods. God, I'm trying to think of some other bangers because this it's one again. There's so many good places around that way. Okay, uh, Fiona. What? Uh, Tuna's round um, uh, near Cal Anderson Park-ish area. Is trying to think of food places to go. I suggested the Honey Hole because one, I've it always. Been. You've not been? Nope. It's really good sarnies and wonderful innuendo names. I don't know that area. You know me. I don't go there that often. Point. Point. <laughs> I don't know what's still open down there after after last summer. Shit, I didn't even think of that. Yeah. <laughs> no! And Stooge, well, he seemed to be always holding a carton of milk earlier, so I feel like he was drinking it anyway. Maybe he was just holding it. Whoa, oh, whoa, okay. Rancho Bravo's all right, but Rancho Bravo's utilitarian. It is... When you need Mexican food very quickly and you don't want to go too far from, from Cal Anderson. It's not good. I've had it. It's okay. Uh, poor Kets tried it twice and both times has had very, very bad times. I hate this job. I oh. Peace out, milk guy. Well, that was it. something. Next one. Staring contest. <laughs> Let's oh, feckin' go. Gee, this is exciting. Who will cave first? Oh, I blinked. I'm out. <laughs> ah, I saw you blink. You're out. I wasn't playing. <laughs> Noah is still in the game. I will Game's double ready. um Dax's suggestion for Bokka Bok. That's feckin' grand. Oh, Ian's Pizza is a cracking place. I blinked. You win. Amazing! Undefeatable. Next question? Hey, yeah, I've got one. Oh, it's the real... The real third interview.
Sir. Say you're the CEO and you've got a bad intern. They're disruptive, not open to feedback, not working. Would you fire them? What a thrilling question! What's the answer? Well, I mean, you can't just fire someone like that. Everyone has their own problems and their own troubles. <laughs> mm -hmm. As I was saying. <laughs> Everyone has their own problems and their own... Okay. <sighs> Tone it down, intern. <laughs> okay. Hey, no. <laughs> okay. <sighs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Laugh it up, intern. <gasps> okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't attack her. <laughs> okay. Yikes! Noah... Please stop breaking the set. Oh, sorry. Hmm? Oh, don't <laughs> worry about it, Ah. You're doing great. Yeah, it might have been okay. that there was like a, Everyone, a secret undercover CEO. Are you ready? What's Are left? Are you ready? No! Okay, that's ready enough. Here it comes. The final round. The fire pit! Yes! Why do we have a fire pit? <laughs> uh... In the final round, Ah and Noah will fight. Because I'm mm -hmm. nice. Come on now. Hey. Yeah. Well put. Noah, final statement. Go. Uh. Strong arguments. Yeah. What do the judges say? Time to announce the winner. Ah, wins. Yeah. Wow. Your prize. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. It's my fucking lunchbox! Parents, friends, co-workers. Theft is going on. All the way. This one's for you. I love you, Mom. However, I know that this lunchbox belongs to my intern pal here. I'm glad that you can finally have it back now. Aw, thank you. What? Don't you dare, Noah. Uh, yeah, right. This is not cool, ah. Uh. Give me hey. that. If you don't respect my show, then nobody should get the lunchbox. It's my bloody no, lunch! That's just childish. Shut up, intern! Get back to work! No! What? Yes! I said no! How dare you? Uh, a little help? Don't you even start, you little goof. You two are. Oh, she's getting weaker. I have an idea. It's working. Another one. You stop that right now! Willing outcast, there's no cohesive answer to that. Alright, heated no, into the fire! She's getting weaker. Wait, did our CEO just got fired? We are free! Hooray! It's the other intern. Everyone, shut up. <laughs> this charade is over. This CEO is a fake. What? Dun dun dun! <laughs> you got me. I'm just an actor. Hi, I'm Steph. I do improv and I can also sing and play the piano. I can also DJ. So, Jim, if you need someone, call me. That would be great! <laughs> Leave. Okie dokie. <laughs> That's me at stage the step. best way. I do bar mitzvahs and weddings. Okay, bye. Okay, good work, Steph. Good work. Wait a minute. You can't fire Steph. You're just an intern. Are you serious? Can't you read the room? 
I'm the real CEO. What? <gasps> Let gasp! It finally happened. Our co-word CEO has shown off her true form. <laughs> Seems like none of the employees knew of the deception. We weren't planning on revealing it so soon. But of course, with so many twists and turns today, our CEO had to plan her cards quick. We can't wait to see how the company deals with this twist. <laughs> what a twist! The CEO, presumably to offer a Q&A session to her faithful employees. Let's watch closely. Silence! It's clear that I've left this company without direction for too long. It's been a day! Well, here comes the new direction for the company. The fun times are over. You do not get to say no anymore. That word will disappear from your tiny brains. Because if I even hear a mention of that word, I will personally destroy you. Not only will I fire you, I will make sure that you never work in this city again. Do you understand? Good. Don't you put that down right now. No! The rest of you my tiny bones! Oh, cat, that was the correct maneuver, but look what happened to us. District 9. Yes! Welcome back to our live edition of Covert CEO with me, Microphone. We are back today with the CEO of the company. We Mike Rofone. I don't know if it's the pun that hits me, or if it's the fact that I never thought of that terrible name for a D&D &D character before. Why didn't I play a bard named Mike Rofone? Duh. Continue, but I want you to know I'm disappointed at myself. Uh, and, uh, Tono, I hope we helped with a few, uh, a few food recommendations. My brain's, my brain's racking, and it is going to be like, which ones which ones are a go? Borker Bork's definitely gonna be there. And I think same street, a little bit up from Borker Bork, there's a Japanese ramen place that's feckin' dope. <laughs> C triple two's like, delete the VOD, keep the name for your D D character. Right, and Lizzie, I've never liked Mike Cox. I understand what I said there. Um, that was inflicted upon me and ended up resulting in, you know, Beodora's untimely demise in XCOM. Never came from me. And the fact that one of you cheeky mother hubbards still snuck it through makes me... It was... Okay, it was ten and a half hours of character creation. It was a day. We are on location, visiting right now. And have we had a dramatic twist? We've seen her enter one of her office buildings as a new intern. And as she's been working hard, learning about her workers, someone has been shaking the foundation of her company. First, <laughs> let's talk to our co CEO. Good day! <laughs> and Nom Nom, you're not wrong. Hello there, Mike. I heard you had to make a lot of sudden changes today. That's right. There have been some discipline problems caused by this person that we had to take care of. Now the office is running at 103% efficiency. Incredible. And all from just a few changes. Now I see why you're the CEO around here. Uh, Dax saying the place is called Ramen Let's Danbo. Talk about the cause of the problem. Something that caught all of us by surprise. That's right. It was one of our interns. So you've had a real hostile takeover. That's right, Mike. We're not sure what company they're from, but it is clear that this intern is actually a corporate spy. And I've had to step in to save my company from their terrible propaganda, which I believe is hiding in this lunchbox. It's just Masani! We'll be showing what's inside later, so stay tuned. So, CEO, let's talk a bit about how you got here. Well, I started with nothing, really. Earned everything myself, one might say. Amazing! Of course, I did have some help from my parents. But everything I have, I gain through hard work. <laughs> it all began... My final lesson! I don't know if you caught that, but it's the old, uh, you know, uh, I got everything through hard work. Maybe a bit from my parents. 
You know, it's just, you know, I, I built this company with hard work, blood, sweat, tears, and the millions and millions of dollars given to me by my parents. Uh, so Turner, I played Going Under, but I haven't streamed it. That's, I'm, I'm thinking of the, I think I'm just making sure I'm thinking the right game. It's the, it's a roguelike where you play a new intern at a company and you have to go down into all the failed companies, like on the lower floors, if I remember correctly. Because I just, I love the art style of that one and the concept is genius. It's fun that we can have a whole game based on, hey, maybe big corporations bad. Know that within you is the ability not just to charge, but to charge up even more. In fact, you might have already been able to do it. But did you know that there's always more? Just close your eyes and find that well of emotion. Okay, let's, let's, let's do this hard, together. Try out some of the other techniques I've taught you. We're gonna, you can do it. We're gonna look try internal. We're gonna try and find a louder no. I go to the break room fridge and eat other people's food. If you like bastard. It, I throw the rest in the bin. What a jerk. What are you gonna mess do him about up. it, huh? Try really charging up that no. Level three! Incredible. That guy's super I've dead. I everything I can do myself. But there is one last critical thing. Listen carefully. Say <laughs> no more money. How do you keep doing this? Please help me. Let's try a level three. The screen shake. Holy fuck! You need to get me a pen. This one sucks. It's not blue. Not getting a pen. But I'm not in the mood for jokes. Hook shot. What ho? I don't have any jokes to tell right now. This one, I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Uh huh. The staring. The staring contest. Oh, okay, here we go. Staring contest, go! I like there's a whole cult of the staring contest. Uh, so, Favor Six, thank you for the bits. And uh, Vanderbeast as well, you feckin' legend. Um, ah, so this is the famous intern. Come, welcome to the super secret staring contest. All right, here we go. Now it's time for you to face me, the staring champion. <gasps> Prepare yourself for the staring contest of a lifetime. Begin. <laughs> 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 You are strong, intern. Oh! Behind you! Ah, nice uh, try. You didn't fall for that. Impressive. Usually a secret oh, technique. Quick. Uh, oh no, a sandstorm. Quick, blink. Do 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 do. You are a tough one, intern. Hmm. I wonder what the back of an eyelid looks like. Can you describe it for me? Twist. Clever. Didn't fall for that either. Wow. Here we uh, go. Mm, uh, behind you. Oh no. Did oh, that one champion I'm... is out of ideas. Uh, um, please blink, intern. Okay, that's it. Yeah, please blink. Ha! Ah! Truly, you are a master. Not <laughs> blinking is really hard. As a small aside, uh, there's a lovely game on Steam which we'll do a day on where the game is controlled by how you look around the screen and uh, by blinking to move through sections. And there's like three different threads on Steam being like, but what if I play this whole game without blinking? And they're just like, please no, you will damage your eyes. They have to put a warning on the Steam description and I love that.
You're gonna love this, trust me. What you're seeing now is my normal no. This is a super no, and this, this is what is known as a super no. This is ascended above a super no. We could just call this a super no too. <laughs> Hooray for our new champion! Yay! Congratulations! Sit on your new throne, champion! You yeah, rock. that's a hilarious... Don't... Yeah. Don't hurt yourself. There is no achievement for that. Yeah. <sighs> the throne is comfortable. Oh, you blinked. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's a champion, not a cult. A super yeah. duper no. Could you tell me how the back of your eyelid looks? Sure, let me check. Wait, wait. Oh. Ah. <laughs> it's not a cult. Okay. No way. They're just Sneaky. they're just long hoodies. They're just full length hoodies. Hmm. Well, it's five. Club sessions over. Back to work, I guess. That was a great session today. Yeah! The new champion is great! <laughs> See you next week, y'all! Yep, next week! <laughs> right, Neo Shadow Wato. Alright, we're back on the track. We're gonna fail this corporation. Hey, where did you come from? There's a chair behind the archives? You're kidding me, right? Nobody told me. Shouldn't the janitor know? I'm sorry, buddy. Has anyone ever cleaned back there? Nope. <laughs> How did the intern... Incredible! It looks like the corporate spy intern has escaped. What will you do? Benny, Robocon won. Yeah, you heard me. Won. Get them out. Now. What is happening? What did you just do? Oh, just taking care of a certain intern with the latest in technology. The RoboWorker 3000. Hey, get back to work. Bleep, bloop, 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 Oil me. I mean, hello, fellow human mm. one. Bleep, bloop, intern in standby mode. Let's wreck this place. Ame, 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 yeah! Can I borrow credits? Uh, money? I lost all of mine in the virtual dog races. A floor. Plug me in. I'm supposed to fire you, but I can't do it in battery saver mode. Please, automatic shutdown. Benny, get me everyone. What do you mean, everyone? Everyone! Yes! <laughs> I do! That's a lot of mega flips! I want to joke, but I feel like chess again is absolutely a game that someone has either released or is going to release. <laughs> Sorry, video games. Not today. Robot. I'm, I'm just going to break this robot in half. Boof! Intern, loop, waiting for intern to calculate deep. Ha 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 ha. Spark plant does make a good point. Like, why haven't they made chess two? Deep, clapping detected. Loop, deep, clapping detected. Clapping detected. Sure. <laughs> Bowcat. You're right. That's a good point. Sleep mode activated. Robot, make me proud. Yes, boss. Dies. Wait, I will help you. Excuse me? Get this. The CEO wants me to fire you. I can hear you. She can't hear us. I turned off the mic. He did not turn off the mic. Pretend we are fighting. I can hear you. And I will act the 
feeders and let you through, okay? Who programmed <laughs> these robots? <laughs> I'm turning the mic back on now. <laughs> Weird, my mic failed for the moment. <laughs> anyway, this game is a treasure! Oh dear, you are too strong. I'm defeated. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> you are fired. Yes, finally. Pack your things. Right. Never come back. <laughs> you are a mean, mean CEO. Wait, what? Oh, hello, Aidan. Please move along. I give up. Activate sleep mode. Stop right there. That's right. Moving from the spot is more better. <laughs> Let's do another. Go play him. Are you a robot? To <laughs> you got a spare cable. <laughs> Relax. Calm down, fellow worker. All of this chaos, this anger, it will pass. I mean, the oppression won't. <laughs> but the emotions will. So just relax, okay? What helps me relax is a nice, quiet Sunday or some karaoke. Hey, you seem calm already. Good Press job. okay to get fired. Press cancel to stay employed. <laughs> Fire cancel. Sleep mode on. <laughs> Uh, actually, uh, Turner, someone else was saying the same thing when we're doing um, character creation. That it does have that Mega Man Legends kind of vibe, and I gotta say, I love the the over the top ham uh, animations because it takes a lot less time than doing semi realistic, and yet it gives it so much personality. Also, no. yeah, hamanations, if you will. <laughs> Access denied. Sorry, you can't move. <laughs> Due to Why technical difficulties. We are trying to find the intern ASAP. Has anyone seen the intern? Intern? Where are you? What a crazy live show. If you've just tuned in, the intern has gone missing. We are trying to find the intern ASAP. Has anyone seen the intern? Oh, you know what intern? we gotta do. Where are you? Beep, 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 oh, beep. Crazy life show. Uh, <laughs> Much better. What was even the point of all of that, hmm? You have to climb up like everyone else did. You think I never spent any time in bad internships? You think I didn't have to work 100-hour days? That I didn't climb my way up from the very bottom? Um... I'm here because I survived it all. You can't even say a word without your cassette. Let me show you how it's really done. We must look inside no! ourselves. <gasps> oh! I said yes to everything. To backbreaking opportunities. To risky choices that meant I lost my business. To synergy and growth. Oh. Whatever. What have you said yes to? Hmm? Not to the promotions. They were just given to you. Not even to those friends you've made. All you can do is be negative. Um... Pathetic. No! You just don't understand all the things I've said. We're yes getting to. haggard here. Fathom all the time I spent being trash. You could be better too. You can just say yes, but you can't. Can you? You're shiftless, lazy. You don't know what it means to suffer the burden of yes. You just want everything handed to uh... you. Useless, like the rest of your generation. No! You don't even realize we're saying yes, got me. I'm a multi-billionaire, you know. Do you even understand just how much money that is? One million seconds is eleven and a half days. One billion seconds is thirty-one and a half. 
have years! Do you understand now? Do you get? Just how Can we truly find the power inside ourselves to crush this bugger? I can just buy your life. Buy everything you own. It will be nothing but pocket change to me. Do you finally understand? You are nothing! See what they did there. Uh, um, cut to commercial. Well, this took a dark turn. What if this is the start of a Max Payne game? It was at this time that I knew my life was over. My dark quest for revenge has ended. Only in death and sadness. Something, something, hard boiled cop words and stuff. Saying yes is a kind thing to do. Use this power responsibly. It's all about being a real team player. Dental plan. Saying yes is a <laughs> kind thing to do. <laughs> it's that fucking Simpsons joke. Hey, how are you? Uh... Ah, there you are. Hey, so, about the rent. Can you pay for it this month? Please, I really need it. I've taught you everything I can do myself. But there is one last critical thing that I cannot help you with. Saying no to mean lunch dealing jerks or to bad bosses, that's one thing. But saying no to your best friend who's in need, even if it's pushing your limit and they're being a jerk themselves, it's impossible. <gasps> I'm sorry. Big man, no! I know this is already the ninth month in a row, but it's just, you know, a job in this economy. <laughs> it's impossible to get anything good nowadays. And I'm just overqualified for other jobs. I just can't find anything at all. It's just demoralizing. I end up having to go to the arcade to make myself feel better. And then I have even less money for rent. It's the worst. I, I do try, you know. It's just really hard. <sighs> uh, you not going to say anything? Me and no. me. What? Are you serious? So you're just going to throw me out the window like this? I just... Bye. Great time to set boundaries as we're plummeting to the, uh, our untimely death. <laughs> hey, Welcome back. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I shouted at you and that wasn't cool and... Thank you. No. For saying... That yeah, it's a really tall building, everybody. It's just... You were helping me all this time, but it seemed like you were so distant. Like, you weren't even there. Does that make sense? And now... I'm fucking dying here, you buddy. Told me that you can't. I have seconds to live! And I felt like you were present. And I appreciate your honesty. And your support. Okay, it's time I do some job hunting for real. I'll see you later tonight. Bye. Wait, so what were you doing before?
dead. <laughs> it's the fucking crocodile! With me, in turn. <laughs> oh, fuck. You are dead. Dead sexy. It is time for you to join me and go to the other side. Nah. Mm. Impossible! Wait, what's happening? Hey, you! No loitering! <laughs> what the fuck? All we just had to do was just say no to the Gator of Death and that was it. And have a magical girl transformation scene. With a new tape player. <laughs> Chapter 8. Say no more. Let's do this! You can't just hover around like that. Get down here! And what's with all these sparkles? I'm pretty... Mm -hmm. uh, it! Yeah. Hey, we've got we've got Infinino. Sincerely regret your loss. Your loss? Boss? No, I said loss. <laughs> the intern. They're alive. What? Fucking hell! Incredible. Get the crew down there. Benny, what are you waiting for? Yeah, Zach. Apparently, all you need to do to survive a thousand, a ten thousand story drop. Then Just say no to the alligator of death. What do you mean? Um. We're just on a rampage now. Ultimate destruction. No. Just going straight through. Probably killed a lot of people today. Uh, yeah, no, that person's super. Magical no powers. The, the, the intern has let some of the more rebellious workers loose. Uh, give me that. Welcome back to Covert CEO Live! You won't believe what's happening here right now! That's right! The intern is not only alive, but is going back to confront the CEO! Along the way, they've already freed fellow co-workers! Oh, hello! Tell me, how do you feel? That's the best! Woo! Incredible! Let's see if we can get a few more opinions about- I can keep yeeting people around it! This is amazing! Intern showed me that it's okay to be me. Amazing! The intern showed me that there is nothing like the present. <laughs> this game is amazing. No. I want you to marry me. The traditional cross counter. Oh my! I'm quitting my job and opening a bakery. Can you get out, waiting? Yes, love is real. Truly inspirational. Incredible. It's incredible just what's happening here. All because of a single intern and a single lunchbox. The lunchbox. Let's get the intern's lunchbox back. Fucking wee! <laughs> Plenty to stop them with. Besides, it's been a while since I've had a real challenge. Do you have an appointment? Actually, yes. I called earlier. Oh, Should go you. Known as unruly mob. The Miss CEO, it's your 7 p.m. meeting with the unruly mob. It's regarding a lunchbox. What are you doing? Don't just let them in. They have a meeting. We call ahead. Stop this right now. It's time for everyone here to say yes. Saying yes is a positive thing. It's 
say yes to friends and family. Papa Cha! Chapa Cha! You've said yes to this job. Without yes, you would. Papa Cha! Yeah, I actually think the other intern was surprisingly on the ball. Props to him. Papa Cha! All right, what have you got? After you threw me to my feckin' death. Have you? Not tolerate you trying to ruin everything I've made. You have to climb up from the bottom like everyone else did. Do you think I never spent any time in bad internships? That I didn't have to work 100 hour weeks as well? I suffered too. Force us to work 100 hour weeks like you. You could have ended the cycle, but you chose to keep it. I'm doing you a favor. I chose to give you the same opportunity as I had. You don't even call it a favor. We are working for you. We don't get paid enough in general, especially not to also deal with the fragile personalities of our bosses. Yeah, you can't work as hard as 300 of us, but you earn that much. That's because I basically did the work of 300 people. Now I get to earn the money that I deserve. Oh. The company I worked hard to make, that I risked everything for, that I worked so hard for, I forgot what industry this company is even in. Even about the money. Yeah, we just. Yeah, Kisa, this is super people. real. What are we even sacrificing our lives for? Well, I chose to suffer and endured it all. And now I'm rich and I'm happy. Are you happy? Enough! <laughs> what is going on? This lunchbox is mine. This is some Bayonetta you tier nonsense and I'm it. here for it. To be open all the time? To just accept whatever dumb, menial task it's given to me? To have to just run around being the lackey? I said yes to every stupid co worker party. Yes to getting every complex lunch order I couldn't even afford. Yes to every board manager with too much time on their hands. <gasps> it's a really good lunchbox. Like, DJ, it's a, it's a really good lunchbox. You're a person, too. No, you don't understand. You don't get how stupid it is to have to say yes all the time. You don't know how hard it is to be happy all the time. To pretend to be strong when you feel so weak. To pretend to be happy when you feel so sad. To have to smile even though you feel terrible inside. Because if you don't, some idiot will tell you to smile. We know what. No, you don't get it. I didn't even want to be like this. I wish it were okay to be weak, to be sad. But apparently that makes you selfish. I just don't want to Ooh. be a bad person. I just want to fit in and be accepted. Now it's all too late to change it anyway. I can't be anyone else now. I mean... Ultimate planet size, no! I've just tried to do the right thing all this time. And now it's all wrong? Yeah, C triple two. We got shot into space. Both in your work life. And Have we really got down life. to earth? It doesn't mean you have permission to hurt others. You can't just perpetuate harmful behavior. You are in power. It's up to you to stop it for the rest of us. Fuck! This you game's can real. Be a better person. Make the world a better place. I. I'm sorry. I'm a bad boss. I'm a bad person. I screwed over everything and everyone. And now it's all ruined. Forever. Because of me. No. We can fix this together. But I'm gonna need you to give the lunchbox back. 
And maybe just don't come down to... <laughs> this is some, like, anti-corporation Evangelion level nonsense, and I'm here for it. Yeah. I don't know what state the sandwich is going to be at this point. Like, battered. <laughs> Congratulations! That Congratulations! Sure was a doozy, eh? Oh yeah, yesterday was crazy. It's wild to think it all happened in a single day. Hey, so what happened exactly? I had like one day off and it's like a whole new office. <laughs> it is a whole new office. It is? The last one did get destroyed. It did? But I mean, the important thing is that we can say no now. Wait, really? Yeah. That's wild! That used to be a big thing! I know! Hey, can yeah. anyone do overtime tonight? Um, no, sorry. Tonight? No. Uh, okay, don't worry about it. I figure something out. Thanks anyway. Oh, wow! Yeah, and Turner, they changed his name to R because they couldn't put oh, the no yeah, in Noah. Too. Do you need <laughs> a refill? Huh? No, I don't want to bother you. Oh no, I'm going to the kitchen anyway. Don't worry about it. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Maya. Uh, we are running out of ink on this floor. I'll get that sorted for you. Thanks. Everyone good? Can I leave work early tonight? Yeah, that shouldn't be an issue. Just log it in. What's happening? Are you and Zayn having a date night? Just a little one to the movies, yeah. Aw, you two have fun. Will do. Knock, knock. Steph's pitching training is in 10 minutes. Feel free to join if you'd like in the innovation room. Maya, where what? are you going? Yeah, take a little break. Oh, I shouldn't. Yeah, come and relax for a few minutes. Play a round of table tennis with us. Hmm, isn't your thing saying yes? <laughs> <laughs> All right then, but just one. Hey, can you copy these papers? No. No, not really. I'm kind of busy. Ah, oh, dang, sorry. Hey. I can give you a hand. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, we got an actual window. It's not just a sewage pipe anymore. Okay, at this point, I think our character's probably gonna get like, like tiny blocky Nick Fury show up and. Here's your lunch. No onions. Yay, my lunch order. Thanks. Your no, okay, that's the best. Did you just drive up here? Well, thank you for supporting my business. I Food have truck a order for you. That's one hundred monies. What do you say to that? Mm? I mean, it is certainly a very delicious and special lunch. May I guess I'll have to give you my best friend discount. That means. It's free! How about my I paid your rent for nine months discount? Lunch order received. I'll see you soon. Sir, how did you get the car up here? Hello, knock knock. Oh, looks like you're ready for lunch. Let's go. Everyone's like, I don't want to expect this game, but it's not it. Well, this was a feckin' treasure! 
But it's just a fucking treasure. The thing that I'm curious about is like, I wonder if there's any um, like secret paths and stuff. Like the the quest for the staring contest. Because I think there's a ton of achievements that we didn't see. See, Triple Two's like, time to buy this with some friends. Yup. Uh, Kaimal was joking earlier that they got given it as homework. Uh, and this was definitely made by people who have survived a big corporate environment, for feckin' sure. Oh, staff in alphabetical order by department. I like it. I'm a big fan of doing um, credits in alphabetized style. So you list the person and then the stuff they did. Because in video games, people tend to wear a lot of hats. President, coach, and many others. Steph, the fake CEO, and many others. The real CEO, and many, other, many others. <laughs> Jackie's like, credits are complete random. Flying at different sides, at different speeds. Um, no, wait. Near Automata already did that. <laughs> Alright, let's see who our uh, who our no actor was. Oh Rob oh yeah, Robert and Bus Driver Kurt are pointing out that Smash Bros did it first. Uh I cannot pronounce that person. But uh Mathilde Hoffman August Alright. They definitely gave us some spice for this one. Oh no, it was uh, Trish uh, Crossbite was our Irish Gaelic. Trish Crossbile. Crossbile. Crossbill? Yeah, thank you, Trish! <laughs> oh, and any uh, any I any in I uh May gave it. It was so it was so close between the uh, the Chinese voice and Wow, I'm all over the place. I need another coffee. God, we've only been here we haven't even been here for four hours. So I feel like there's probably a ton of stuff to this that we haven't seen. And uh, I was glad they didn't go too, too real into stuff like Infinite Holiday and food plans and stuff like that. Because that probably would have done me a damage. Oh, caffeine. What, oh, friend? Um, we may have just finished Say No More. Caffeine's like, and no, you haven't. Aww. Hey, Brendan's like, say yes to solidarity and mutual aid. We can make the world a better place. Back at yo. Aww. Hey, <laughs> uh, Catherine with, thank you, me, for learning to stand up for myself. Fucking yo! Aww. This is fucking grand. <laughs> Aww. As Rosanna says, don't forget to love each other.
Although, Tyrone, I don't know if you should describe your kids as real-life Tamagotchis. That's unsettling, but I'm with it. I, and, Bus Driver, I wish I could read Morse code to understand that one. Alright. I want to check uh, credits real quick. Uh, credit, I want to check uh, Chivos real quick. Um... Oh yeah, so Sparkplant, do you know- do you know that quote? Because I don't know Hamlet that well. <laughs> I don't- I don't know it well enough to be able to quote it. Alright, so let's see... What did we miss? Okay, so we had to say no... Nine... Okay. So... There was... An achievement for saying no... 9,000... Uh, sorry, 99,999 times. Uh, and there were two more hidden Chivos that we missed. So it looks like there's, like, uh, extra little, like, paths. <sighs> now I'm curious as to what those are. Now I'm very curious. Okay. Decisions, decisions. It's a little late in the day to start a brand new game, but I kind of want to keep hanging out with everybody. Am I done? Yes, I am done. Let's get some jams going. Oh, Bansy Bertrox, what ho? Where are my smooth jams? Actually, where are my chipper jams? Get some of them Sonic jams going. Bear with me just a second, dear friends. There we go. Okay, so that was a glorious little game. And uh, I'd be really curious to talk to the, the peeps who made it and just know like how long it took them. One of the things that I loved was that it was unapologetically Unity physics, like all the way through. And I wish I'd realized it sooner that by yelling during cutscenes, I could fuck up the scenery. Because <laughs> that last scene where I realized I could just destroy the stage and throw stuff around was fucking glorious. No, Steam, I'm not restarting you. Grumble at me. Okie dokie Lokis. Well, I'll tell you what. Bear with me just a second, friend, because I'm gasping for the bathroom. Uh, that's what I get for doing nothing but drinking coffee all morning. Uh, Arceline says I want to try out Commander. Oh! Um, I... Caffeine and Peeps would definitely be the ones to talk to about how to do it uh, via digital mediums. Because I know they've been doing, like, uh, digi games of Commander and whatnot. Uh, I haven't had a chance to yet. I haven't had a chance to yet. Sorry, apologies for, for multi-track drifting there. Right, I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break, and then feck it, we can just chat and hang out for a little bit. I'm not quite I'm not quite ready to, to say a good afternoon to you, if that's all right. I know, I'm being drastically selfish. I'm not letting you go. <laughs> Absolute villain that I am. Okay, I'll be back in just a second, friends.
Detector online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. What so? Crazy.
Harpist of Char, dear friend. Sorry for making you wait. Ugh. So I was having a ponder. Um, whilst we absolutely could do some uh, flavoured stuff, um, I had started having um, a, a little work on some of the smaller kits. Uh, as I'm sure you're all... <laughs> Dandelion, thank you for the hundred there. How are you doing? Um, I decided against tea, as I uh, remembered I have uh, viciously unhealthy sugar water. So, <laughs> I got a weird thing for these, uh, for the Sobies. Uh, my, uh, my family stateside was obsessed with these when I was younger, and so they're kind of like almost a little bit of nostalgia. Hey, I'm not against tea! It's very warm today. Uh, Van Beast, thank you for filling the pine glass. Uh, see, Gundam side, I've got the big old unicorn, which I'm still scared of. Uh, and I started inking uh, one of these little cool ones. So, I started work on this one. <laughs> Dandelion's like, unhealthy is relative. It's better than a lot of things. That's very true. I mean, yes, I'm having Sobi, which contains, you know, sugar and uh, probably a bunch of E numbers or something. But I could be having a small mountain of cocaine, which would be much less healthy. Oh yeah, I probably flashed this one off at the beginning, but uh, I finished this whilst we were all hanging out on Saturday. I love a bunch of the Gundam designs that are like uh, designed for, for deep space specifically. And this thing has this ridiculous like high speed nose jetpack. And I feckin' love it. Like, it's not an overly complex design. There's nothing super duper bombastic about it, but I don't know. It's just got this whole kind of like super smooth jet fighter thing going on. Uh, I'm really tempted to uh, use this as a, like a as my first try at uh, airbrushing. Uh, but then I'd have to unpack the airbrush, set it up, learn how to feck and use it, and find a place to do it which isn't going to accidentally spray paint everything in here or gas us out. <laughs> Sorry, I just read uh, C Triple Two with. Think about it like this: small mountains of cocaine are keto safe. Oh. No, I, I am not the person to discuss uh, food or diets or otherwise. Uh, I, I've been on the other end of the um, of the body weight spectrum. I'm on the uh, it's hard to keep weight on and have spent a large proportion of my life looking like um, uh, a skeleton wrapped in meaty cling film. Uh, I used to describe myself as breadsticks wrapped in ham. And so I've been able to add some... Uh, I've been able to add some actual meat on my bones over the last like year and a bit. Uh, Snorp and bass, gluten-free meth <laughs> methamphetamines. <laughs> Don't do drugs, drugs are bad. Uh, But um, Fiona made some very good suggestions, which was, what if we played a bit of Sniper 3? Like, we've had a really good day with a really arty game. I'm not quite ready to, to say goodbye for the afternoon. And... Oh. <laughs> Daniel says, I mean, it seems like you need to eat more. Uh, uh, NGL? Is that one of those fancy drugs all the cool kids are taking? Um. <laughs> oh, and Jackie, like, jokes aside, like, um, I have uh, a few friendos who are on varying things for, for ADHD and stuff like that. So. Oh, and Dandelion managed to take the Yaldum. Well done. Well done. Yeah, oh, I think this would be a, a good time to... To pop into some Sniper 3. <laughs> okay, uh, so Snorp and Bass. I only found this out recently. Um, uh, so we all know that Coca-Cola was originally like a, a re originally contained a large amount of cocaine um, during a time which uh, cocaine was widely prescribed for a lot of things. 
Um, this isn't news, but what I didn't know, and I only found out this year, is that um, the reason why uh, cocaine was created was due to a ban on what's called tonic wine. Tonic wine was wine with cocaine in it, or cocaine and opium, or cocaine and other things. You used to be able to get cocaine boots, and then, not because of um, the drugs in it, but because of prohibition laws that were passed in certain states in the US, the alcohol part was illegal. So they made, essentially, soda coke. They were like, man, I'm not allowed to drink anymore, but I really don't want to give up that sweet, sweet cocaine. What if I made a cocaine beverage without alcohol? Genius! Ah. Yeah, so Snob and Bess, we went on this, like, weird wiki tangent. You know, like, our Discord is lovely for people just hanging out in the wee hours and the conversation going places. And I was talking about how um, you don't get Buckfast in the US, which is a fortified, caffeinated wine. Because uh, we were talking about the original Four Loco that got banned after it killed people. Uh, and I was talking about that one, and we got into like researching tonic. Uh, we got researching like fortified wines, and then that's where cocaine wine came from. Oh, Jackie was says um, uh, that their liver is crazy hyperactive because of um, the um, the supplements they take for ADHD stuff. So their body breaks it down before it reaches their brain super quick, making a, a night out drink sink expensive. Oh. Do you find that you have like the nothing's happening, nothing's happening, nothing's happening. Oh boy, it's on. Because some friends of mine who had to take uh, ADHD meds have said that that can be the same for them. The, the booze does nothing until it does everything. <laughs> okay, no. The secret ingredient in Crystal Pepsi is not Crystal Meth. I feel like I have to say this. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and as C222 saying, there's something odd about the concept hard drug soft drink now, obviously here on the long ship we do not condone the consumption of illegal substances um, though if you ever find yourself in such a position make sure you're doing them correctly and safely not that we would ever condone that not at all uh, so yeah here's what I'd like to suggest do you want to play some some sniper elite dear friends for those of you that who are a little newer here, Sniper Elite, well, specifically Sniper Elite 3 is one of our go-to group games. Because it's slow-paced. There's plenty of time for us to natter at each other, and it usually devolves into uh, Moose and Pun Spectre just throwing horrendous puns at us as a form of, like, psychological warfare. God, I don't know if um, Nom Nom Fighter is still chilling here, but uh, I just... Uh, I checked my emails just very quickly because I'm waiting on a thing. Premium Bandai is still trying to sell me so many Gundams. And now it's trying to sell me um, the Digimon uh, smartwatch. And I'm like, no. I have too many Gundams. Send me no more. I mean, I'm on track to actually clear No Grey November. So, um, Plus, I've realized that as the Gundams will start to spread throughout the house, because it's it, it's going to happen, we're going to run out of shells. I can put the I can put the underwater Gundam in the bathroom because <laughs> uh, I've got Char's uh, um, variant, his like bright red underwater variant. I can put that in the bathroom. Okay. Uh, sorry, Jackie was saying that they haven't been out drinking because they got their diagnosis at the start of the pandemic. That's no worry. Um, I'm still not entirely sure if my tolerance has gone up or down. Uh, Dandy's like, do you have too many Gundams or not enough uh, sufficient shelf space? The answer is yes. Uh, Graphite, I'm pretty sure I said exactly the opposite. 
Uh, and Snorpen, which Doki Doki Magical uh, Hero Gunpla? Uh, because I just found out that you can get Berserk Mode of the... Oh, I forget what its actual name is. The Sailor Gundam from G Gundam. You can get a, uh, like, a shiny, sparkly, pink to red variant with, like, flamey hair. And then... I'm, see, I've been slowly finding out about all the um, the Build Fighters kits that I wasn't aware of. So there's a variant of that, which has a bit more of a blocky frame to it, but has this, like, glowing, shimmering purple hair. Oh, yeah, and uh, so Lost Flowers Clank, uh, we absolutely don't condone, like, drinking on prescription meds if you haven't spoken to your doctor about it first, because... They can cause, uh, un they can cause brand new effects, completely devoid of both, and those can usually be bad. <laughs> See, Snorpen, I'd never judge anybody for, like, for knowing that level of stuff when it comes to, like, kits or minis or models. The thing that I admonish in myself is how I forget useful knowledge and yet I can remember, you know, facts about video games from 1996. Uh, I was watching, um, oh god. Oh yeah, so uh, quickly, just show of hands, uh, who'd like to join me for a spot of Sniper Elite 3? Because we don't have to, but I think it would be a great excuse to hang out and yeet bullets at one another. So, oh, Lord Lost is in. All right, so that makes at least two of us. We can have like a sniper's duel if needs be. <laughs> Zach just saying, and remember, mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> Uh, Snorpen says the first Gumpler kit was the Macross Valkyrie F1. Ooh! Uh, you were eight and it was 84. Oh, that's way cool. Um, I didn't get into the model kits until uh, Jarolan, who's one of our regulars, sent me through the uh, Barbatus, um, the 1-100 scale. And from that point, had a feckin' grand time. Uh, caffeine's making some food to might jump on. Hey, no worry. Oh, and numbers, we're considering doing a, a spot of Sniper Elite 3 if you'd like to join us. I'm just having a natter. Um, as a complete aside, uh, I haven't had the chance to do any of the, um, the Macross kits, but uh, one thing that popped up on my feed over at New Type is they've got... Um, oh, what should we call it? Uh, they've got ace combat kits and like I don't I'm not big into real jet fighters but the idea of like over the top ones that have a laser strap to the top or any of like the macros kits I'm like that's kind of feckin cool Let's see if it's let's see if it's on sale anywhere, Jackie, before I recommend. Because like even if you don't get the chance to join in this afternoon, we play this a lot. Um Sniper Elite 3 is kind of one of our little go-tos, because it has this one um particular map for multiplayer, which is laid out like a circle. <laughs> Sorry, Snorpin's like. I'll admit, my favorite Gumpler is my Pat Label Hell Diver model. Nice. Uh, I really want to get some of the kits from Pat Label too, but that's another story. Um, and then adding, even if my brother did break its arm, I killed him, of course. <laughs> He's dead now. Okay, so Sniper Elite's not on sale on Steam. Let's see if it's on sale.
Alright, and it is not... Oh, wait. No, it's not currently on sale on Humble either. Uh, and numbers, it's no worry. It's like I was saying, I just... I'm not quite ready to be done with hanging out with everybody today. And... I don't want to start another, like, short, arty indie game, because... With some of those, I want people to... I want people to know when they're happening throughout the week, so they don't miss it. Because um, there's two games I'm sitting on at the moment for all of you lot. One of them is uh, Genesis Noir, which is a sort of point-and-click adventure about celestial bodies at the conception of the Big Bang. And it's got this, like, incredible, like, gold... Uh, it's like silver and gold on black jazz art style. And it's unlike anything I've seen visually for a long time. Um, and the other one, um, oh, let me just remember the name of it. Uh, the other one that I am really looking forward to going through with you all, uh, and these are really short games as well. Obviously, before your eyes, but I need to work out the technical problems in that one before we can stream it. Um, oh, Before Your Eyes is the one I was talking about earlier where you control um, the cursor by looking and then you uh, blink to uh, progress. Where is it? Where is it? Yo! Which of you lovely Mother Hubbards was that? Was that one of you lot grabbing Sniper 3? Well, Jackie, that's very kind of you. And the thing is, as an actual just shooty gunbang game, I love it. Like, you're having a crappy day, something's gone wrong, There's a, a curveball has been thrown into the works of the stuff you had planned to do that day. Do you know what you can do? You can brew yourself a cup of tea, you can sit down, and then you can put a large high caliber round through the testicles of several Nazis. Or, if you're a good enough shot, the singular testicle of Adolf Hitler. And you know what? There's a catharsis in obliterating Nazi general uh, generals. There's a catharsis in obliterating Nazi generals' genitals. <laughs> That's easy for me to say. Okay, where's the... I know I have this game bookmark. I'm trying to find the... Oh, this is going to drive me do lally tap, isn't it? All right, well, there's a game that came out very recently, which is very, very good. Uh, you play a pig farmer who works uh, who works for the cartels. And alongside, you know, raising your pigs on a regular farm, it's also your job to dispose of bodies. And the story is about the day you decide you're not going to do it anymore. And your handler comes with you in the, the interactions that happen. It's meant to be very good. Oh yeah, but jumping back. The reason why we play Sniper Elite 3 is because the pace of it is nice and slow. It's a really stodgy game. And in multiplayer, what we do is we play for an hour. No score limit. And we just creep around and things explode and we get into mischief. And it's a lovely way to kind of spend time together, you know? Most of us are... Uh, most of us are older gamers, so our re our reflect our reflexes, our reflexes are shot. But it's a good little vehicle for a little bit of banter. So if you would like to join us, you are cordially invited. Uh, now, Jackie, it'll probably take you a sec to get that downloaded, but you can join a game in progress. And honestly, it's not even about winning. It's just about yoting bullets and or missiles in Lord Loss's case across the field. Uh, and Snob and Bass, I must violently disagree with you. Geese are certainly jerks and villains. Alright, so I'll get us a little lobby set up and then we can yokes and bullets at each other. T 
Alex with geese are in fact quite foul. Ah! Alex, how are you doing, friend? Feels like it's been a thousand years since I've seen you. Sorry, bear with me just a second. Steam's giving me problems now. So I'll just I'll keep nattering to your lovely selves as we continue. <laughs> Sorry, Snorp and Bass was chatting about um, uh, Untitled Goose Game. Do you know what's lovely? Um, talking to people that don't understand video games or don't really play them and discussing with them about things like Untitled Goose Game is absolutely brilliant oh Earl, you're right steam tuesday maintenance feck all right let's just hang out and chat for a little bit then fuck that was a great idea though so like, why is steam being a jerk it's tuesday maintenance Grumble, 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 grumble. <laughs> Earl's like, impromptu death session. It's still on Steam! <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, friends. I got you all excited for uh, Sniper Elite. Well, we can, we can hang out and chat regardless. Um, oh, actually, uh... A couple of things worth mentioning. I think I can have a look at them. Um, I have found an interesting title called Untrusted, which I am looking forward to trying with all of you lot at some point. I don't think it's going to be an on-stream game. Hang on, let me just pass it around because it looks feckin' grand. It's a free faux hacking game on Steam, and it's designed to be played with about 10 people. And I think like one Sunday we could just jump into this with a big group and it could be a lot, a lot of fun. Uh, Snorpin was saying, they're happy that their sister, brother-in-law and niece are all gamers. Uh, working on my baby nephew, but he's just five. It's work in progress, yeah. Get him, get him young. <laughs> but then talking to their brother about anything nerdy is like trying to explain nuclear fusion to a brick. I mean, Lost Flowers, I could I could faff about on a, on a kingdom, but um, I'd need to change camera around, change cameras around and move things. I oh, Lord Lost, what, what, what sneaky Fiona? Fiona here? What are you talking about? <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, Fiona, uh, according to this group of lovely humans, you are in fact awesome. It has been decided. I was informed that I had to tell you this. You are... you are... I can't even say it. <laughs> You're the queen of my heart! Uh-huh, yeah. Still can't believe I left you all alone for two minutes! TWO MINUTES! Ooh! Oh, that is a wonderful question. Um... You alright there? Is this a is this a right is this a right now thing? <laughs> um, yeah. So, and now the musical stylings of one Fiona. Bam, 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 bam. You know what? I walked into that. I can't. I can't be mad. Um. Yeah, so Earl's asking about uh, MechWarrior 5. So, um, not only is it going to be releasing on Steam soon, uh, it's also going to be releasing with new content, which will contain not only a bunch of mechs and other interesting stuff, but a new mercenary-focused campaign. So, feck the story mode, 
feck the your father's sword bollocks you will be able to not only just start a career as a mercenary but also choose different paths and what your mercenary company focuses on and i'm all for this um oh they're adding um ecm and um sensor arrays so do you know what we can do we can have like at the back sensor mechs or pop some extra stuff into the tiny ones or as i end up kind of being the pov character just by the virtue of being the person streaming i can put all the additional sensor stuff and ecm war stuff on there allowing all our murder boats to do their to do their job oh uh, jackie fox uh, we're talking about mech warrior 5 mercenaries um which was has been out on the epic store for a while and i mean it's currently the best mech warrior game available it's not perfect but it's good uh, however, they are adding and changing a lot, a lot of things, and I'm fecking down for that. Plus, if you didn't want to pick it up on the Epic Store, it's coming out on Steam. <laughs> Robin's like, I'm sorry, Will, we don't mean the rules. I mean, we definitely did, but we're still bound by them, I'm sure you understand. <laughs> oh, lordy, lordy. But yeah, so I'm looking at uh, this Untrusted, the social deduction hacking game. Because I think it would be a ton of fun to play, like, with a big group of people. Because I reckon we could get ten people together for it for the long ship. Uh, so Alex says they've been a bit busy with integrating a new housemate and all see tweeper oh i'm still locked out of twitter so i haven't been able to see any of it yeah i'm sadly disconnected uh i've messaged them a couple times and and whatnot but no luck so far i'm hoping uh, i'm hoping i get a response from it at some point Um, uh, and Jafar James, it's not even really like um, uh, a worry for like hackers or whatnot. It's just some jerk somewhere in the world just tried to brute force into my account, which didn't work. However, they locked my account to, to keep it safe. And now it's so safe, not even I can get into it. And it's like, grumble, 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 grumble. Yeah, I'm gonna have a. I'm also gonna have a look. Oh, that is a cutie patootie! Uh, Alex, that is a lovely little one. Your roommate. Oh, it's called Rusty! Oh, Fiona! You need to come look at this dog! This is Rusty. This is Alex's new dog. Oh, baby. Right? Little man. Look at its little face! It's little fluff. Oh, the cutest fluff. I want to be best friends with that dog. That's a good dog. <laughs> well, Alex, I don't know. Um, uh, I don't know your general location in the Seattle region, but the dog bar next to, well, not next to us, but near to us, has been refurbed and is super nice now. So, if you need a place to take little Rusty to go socialize and get a pint in. Uh, it's Voff Dog Park, and it's so good. Number says, I don't think River would appreciate another dog in the house. She's fine with other dogs. She would be so mad at us if we got another dog. Um, I, there's still a tinge of jealousy when it comes to uh, the Nuggets. Uh, Lord Loss says my steam is back when I look at yours. Mine's still being a grumbly crumb bum. So, perhaps, like I say, let's just natter and hang out, friends. Like, we'll we'll chat for a bit, then we'll find some adventurous person to go crash into. Oh, Alex is saying that Rusty doesn't like socialising yet. Hey, no worry. Oh, 
Glory shit. Glory shit. Giving you that, getting you that hammer was a, a powerful. Aww. Fear is real. Fear is real. Oh, we're gonna get the, the tiny shelf back off. Yeah, though, I think we can go look into putting those on actual disc. Yields. The other ones are holding fine, and as long as they hold fine, we're good. Yeah, well, the other ones are on like, like three or four strips. Yeah, there's four. There should be four. The baby strips were just baby strips. Yeah, they're, they're, that oh, sorry. Nails for. Sorry, I'm having a conversation in your presence around you, friends. Uh, so you see the two strips on the wall there. But we have, there's like a shelf there and a shelf there. Well, there was a shelf also there. Uh, and it decided to uh, take a fecking nosedive at the end of a show. Uh, none of the Gundams were harmed, but it scared the piss out of me. The fear was real. The fear was very real. Uh, Flower says, I'm have to save that purchase for a later date. Oh, do you mean um, Sniper 3? Well, if you see it on sale, pick it up. And Jackie, the actual single player game of it is still glorious, so I don't feel too bad. Um, uh, nominal. Take command of a highly detailed alternate history spacecraft. Feckin' yo! Wait, and this is made by Offworld Systems? Wait, no, I thought... That's very curious. Because there's a, a very interesting space game that kind of plays out like um, a submarine game. Which... I don't know how well it would um, translate for for watching by your good selves, but oh, I keep forgetting what it's called. But yeah, no, um, C Triple Two that looks interesting, and I hadn't heard of that. And I'm always kind of impressed when someone can recommend me a game I don't know. Uh, Lost Flowers, uh, you don't need to pick up any of the gun DLC, and one of the things that The additional content does go on sale quite regularly, so it might be worth keeping an eye on it there. Because I don't want to recommend you spend like an additional 30 quid on uh, additional guns before you've had a chance to play it. Uh, and Jackie, I'm sorry. I got everybody excited to play some sniper stuff and then Steam's like, LOL! No, it's still being a jerk for me. So um, hopefully it's not a problem problem. <laughs> Caffeine's like, hey, Will, have you heard about this weird Viking Minecraft game? No, tell me more. Although I will say, um, I still think about it. And I know we've covered this topic a lot conversationally, but Valheim's so good. And I still wonder how Valheim was the game that worked, where so many others that tried to do the same didn't. And I don't know, as we've seen with Say No More today, like, sometimes going for a low poly art style or for a much simpler visual style allows you to do so much more like i was pondering it that one of the things a lot of the other viking survival games did is they tried to go like really realistic really high visual fidelity and oh actually jackie that is a good point that surviving successfully buffs your character rather than kills them i think that's a good one because I will admit, having gone back to um, the miscreated a couple times because I wanted to just have a faff around, the amount of time just that you just die from starvation or from thirst. I don't know. Like, we talked a lot about this when we played through Subnautica the first time, how like hunger and thirst is only really an early game challenge. Once you have a base and you have supplies, that stops being a thing you have to worry about because you just grow yourself like a, a lovely hydroponic set with some purified water, bring it with you, feck and yo. So it's only really uh, a struggle to survive on the basics at the very beginning, which I will have to do on Saturday and I'm both very excited for and feck and terrified about. 
<laughs> Sorry, C222 says, Lovely coherent art styles are nice and all, but we really need is a horse penis that shrinks when it gets cold. God. Hi, yeah, uh, okay, sorry. Uh, we just came out of the production meeting and uh, hey, you go, go on to gather around. So I know you lot were quite excited to begin work on Red Dead Redemption 2 and I'm sure you're all excited to get onto somebody like the technical animation side, uh, maybe make some cowboys, some cool rotating guns. Uh, good news, you're gonna be working on one of the main parts of the game. Bad news, it's horse genitals. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna need you to model these accurately and have them change based on temperature. Okay, thanks, bye-bye. Imagine that meeting, still. <laughs> Snorpin's like, no, some not to get below zero is totally safe for puppies and kittens. And I can't keep a straight face, yeah. I mean, I loved Subnautica so much, despite the fact that it was, it is everything I'm afraid of in one game. Uh, Caffeine says, the only thing I wish Miss Creative would add is a party system. Uh, trying to find friends part is annoying at times. It's... It... Uh... Well, I mean, Caffeine, you know that at some point I want to just have a weekend where we just get a server and have fun. Like, just get it for a couple of days where it's just us. Have some survival adventures. Get into mischief. Live, you know? Oh yeah, and Snorp and Bass, no, the, the sound design is exceptional. Plus, uh, I believe it's Ben... It's Ben that does the soundtrack for it, isn't it? Ben, yeah. Yeah, uh, Ben... Uh, Purdy? Purdy? I just know him as Ben. Uh, his work is incredible. <laughs> Gavin's like, my next free time's gonna be December, so... <laughs> Yes, Bark Plant. Uh, and Ben's work is feckin' grand. Uh, well, I tell you what, so, um, uh, Lord Lost Jackie Peeps, if you want to get in some dirty snipes this evening while I'm trying to sort things over here, go for it. You know, we have a, we have a server ripe for multiplayer gaming. Um, what do we have? So yesterday we had a bunch of people who did the Unfortunate Spacemen uh, co-op campaign, which is meant to be ex- Wait, no, it is exceptional. In fact, I played it. God, time travel's weird. Time travel's weird. I have consumed all of my violently coloured sugar water. Um, but yeah, so, uh, so Snorpin, you definitely understand the the fear mixed with the compulsion. Um, as I was saying in the beginning t today, and I guess most of you know, like I got into Subnautica because Thor bullied me into playing it, and I probably wouldn't have gone as hard into it if I'd just been left to my own devices. Do you know what I mean? The idea of playing a game where you spend the entirety of your time under the water and everything's trying to kill you in fresh and horrible ways. Oh, and the entire mechanic of the game is to get further and further down. Like, that's some properly horrifying nonsense. If you had told me that that would be a game that due to its narrative structure and emotional hooks that I'd be sad to leave at the end? Like, feckin' yo. Oh, Lord Loss is reading the last book in Halo Trilogy. Lovely. Um, though I must admit that, like a lot of people, my only knowledge of the Halo book series comes from friends drunkenly telling me about uh, the fall of Reach before Halo Reach came out, um, and from that one video that Brian David Gilbert did involving all the Halo novels. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, uh, extremely low. Thank you, Carney, for the follow. Uh, Snorpin was saying they saw someone playing on YouTube and went, huh, that looks good. No idea that they're the earliest part before the horror. Yup. <laughs> okay, so extremely low. I want to read this out so that Fiona can hear. Fiona! Now, I don't think this, uh, this gentleman is going to uh, follow through, but an individual who has just found us said, Hey, Will, would you shotgun a beer for $50? I, one of my favorite stories was still, um, I was in Venice with a previous partner and we found a stand that had a, if you can finish, if you can finish this pint in under 10 seconds, it's free. And I went over there very tentatively and I'm like, do you have to buy something else to try this challenge? I'm like, no, no, you know, just, you know, you just have to be able to finish it in the 10, like the whole last pint glass. I'm like, and I'm allowed to do this. I don't have to buy anything. I'm like, no, no, no. I'm like, I'm British. Am I still allowed to do this? And they're like, yeah. Now, looking back on it, it was very clever. Because I did one. And it was like, can I do another one? They're like, sure. Then I've just necked two pints of beer. And Drunk Town was only seconds away. So I ended up buying loads of drinks from that stand. So I probably ended up... Actually, Snorpen, you joke, but that's a very good question. Uh, the term shotgun does come from a lot of different places. By my understanding in the US, uh, the US maneuver is you pierce the bottom and you crack the top open and just down it. <laughs> um, but in the UK, uh, shotgun is a maneuver with bottle drinks, otherwise known as the unfortunately titled Strawpedo, where you take a straw, pop it in the top of a bottle of a booze, and hook it round, like the shotgun undercock, and then you just down it in one. Because the air allows it to just go straight into you. So, well, I mean, I tell you what, extremely low. Conversations about drinking and shenanigans, certainly. Um, lamentably, though, there isn't a, uh, there isn't a beer or shotgun-worthy beverage in the house. And nobody wants to just see Will chug wine from a cup. That's not a good time for anyone. <laughs> see Triple Toy. Oi, Will, mate! Give you 100 bits if you do a shoey! <laughs> well, okay, and... Extremely low. If that was... If that was your goal to actually, like, give cash to people's... Like, thank you kindly for stopping by this way. I, I do this full time, so... Yeah, bits and the ilk pretty much keep us alive, so... The intent is lovely. Alex says, Bill the Fox Foster shotgun from a pint mug. I've seen people who can do that, and it's a skill. Um, uh, where you kind of disengage your gulliver, and you can just pour straight into your stomach. Uh, there's, there were some guys over at CCP that could do it. So every time CCP used to have a, a big industry party, they'd have a drinking contest. Oh, wow. <laughs> Feckin' hell. You know what? Extremely low. I apologize if I took your offers there to be... That's fucking cool of you. Thank you. Sorry, I don't have a point to neck. Feck. <laughs> um. So, uh, extremely low with coming out of the woodwork, house Carl style, just gifted in twenty subs. Fucking yo. Um, sorry, and those went to Snorp and Bass, uh, A Fool, Halo Grunt, Game Manuel, uh, Kexis, The Urban Apache, Matthias C, White Wolf Mystery, I'm sure I've read those, Ark Seraph, Spider Kumo, Little Sparrow, Fireball Ginger, uh, Fireball's a, a local uh, and a lovely person, Failed Asian, Martin Games, 
uh, amazing Amatsu official, the Lord Smudge, it's not our only Lord, uh, Miss B uh, Bazoombas. I will assume that is an Americanism for mammary glands. Uh, CMC Passerby, Eldritch Bumblebee, and Terry Draxmus. Feckin' yo! Uh, extremely low. Thank you kindly. Stop that incessant clicking. Like, seriously. Since since the world went to heck, I have been looking after this little household. And I've been able to do that thanks to all this kind of stuff. So, Stop thank that you. incessant clicking. <laughs> yes, as C222 says, shotgunning a growler is a very different term in the UK. And it's certainly something one should not do without explicit permission. Uh, okay, and Alex makes a good point that everything is an Americanism for memory glands. They do like boobs. Oh. But, um, actually, so Snorbuswiss says don't forget the Puma skinning animation. I'm actually thinking of starting a run of um, Red Dead Redemption 2 because... I don't know if it would be a good thing to watch, but I'm thinking of trying it. Oh, so I guess I should explain myself a little. Uh, so extremely low, yeah. If you're Icelandic based, you have more claim than mo you more claim than most to the Viking title. Um, I gained the moniker Stop Viking Blonde as a joke clicking. about being ginger. So the jokes meant to be like, nah, nah, mate. Like, I'm not ginger, right? I'm Viking blonde. We came up with this one evening as a as a twist on strawberry blonde, and we thought it was very funny and very clever. So I Stop got it as my Twitch handle. Uh, and then when I ended up rolling into streaming full-time, I didn't really have enough time to come up with a new name, so I'm stuck with it now. Stop uh, no, sorry, I just want to say thank you again. It's still going through all your alerts. You freaking legend. Stop that incessant clicking. Uh, so I would say, uh, Alex, I would also say a private balcony. That's a purely Britishism for memory glands. <laughs> Robin, I'm so sorry. We were just talking about mismanagement of video game projects. I didn't mean to turn your entire search history into horse testicles. Um, okay, and then... Uh, on top of everything else, Extremely Low also subbed themselves. Look, thank you kindly. Um, yeah. If we see you in a few months, then we see you in a few months. Cheers to you, and thank you again, yo! Yeah, Caffeine, they did manage to avoid House Carl to the finish line. That's impressive. Yo. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Okay, and friends, Secretly Robin is genuinely trying to work out from a technical standpoint how they did the horse modeling in Red Dead Redemption. Um, I guess the other thing to probably think about is that because of the sheer amount of staff that Rockstar have, they could have brute forced it. You know, they could have had multiple sized models that it morphs between. <laughs> oh, that would have been hilarious. Sorry, C222 says, you know that thing where you accidentally type what you hear and not you want? Uh, C222 almost put horse testicle in their code commit logs. That would have been a fun meeting Wednesday morning. Hi, C222 coming on in. Um, so tell us about horse balls. <laughs> Sorry, Jackie was just saying uh, they uh, contracted bad. They contacted bad dragon. God. 
Now, I will say, as a small aside, Jackie, uh, I bought a very good friend of mine a Bad Dragon coffee mug and tape measure for uh, Christmas because they were moving to a new job, and I just loved the idea of having a Bad Dragon coffee mug in the office as a power move. Because either someone doesn't know the logo and therefore it doesn't matter, or they do. And are they going to bring up the fact that they know what it is in an office environment? So you get to basically kind of dead-eye people and just sip coffee. <laughs> Always love that idea. <laughs> okay, Snorpin. It was a sword and it was not floppy. <laughs> I will not have you besmirch Voltron in these hallowed halls. Uh, although I had found out something very interesting, not about Voltron's genitals, um, but more that uh, the show that Voltron came from is actually was actually drastically unpopular in Japan. I had no idea. Because I knew the whole thing about the toy lines that Transformers came from that didn't do great. And then when it was repackaged and sold in like English language territories, it did amazing. But like... Oh, Caffeine says, not Voltron, but the Dongbat from Saints Row. <laughs> ah! Okay. So... One of the game projects I worked on was Total War Rome 2, which came out in 2013. This was around the time that Saints Row the Third was going, uh, was also going to market. And Total War obviously is published by Sega, but they had um, uh, uh, Koch Media help with the international and European release. So for its like its big German release, and I think for most of the e-figs, no, because we had we did French ourselves. Anyway, the thing was, a uh, Koch Media, who now I believe own the Saints Row IP, and I don't know if they own the studio as well, but I'd have to look into it. Um, so that meant that especially when we did Gamescom, we were both being represented by the same company. And this lead led to some wonderful crossover. Um, one of the events that we got to do in Cologne was the Saints Row the Third, like, um, press and friends party that was just ridiculous. Like, they had actual bathtubs of Johnny Gat dollars. So you could just go in this tub full of money. It was feckin' cool. Um... Oh, God. I still regret it to this day, but um, they had a vodka and cigar bars in this, like, multi-tier party. And the only cocktail was vodka and the Saints Row energy drink. Oh, God, I forget what it was called. It's not Balls, because Balls is the, an actual energy drink in the US. Anyway. So, we had a good time. Shenanigans what happened. Uh, I would find Johnny Gat dollars stuffed into my pocket and sock for weeks. How to phrase this. We made very good friends with some of the people over at Cock Media. And so when it came time for Saints Row the Third to release, they sent us a few copies of the games and some Steam keys and stuff, which was really feckin' cool of them. They didn't have to do that. Oh yes, it was Saints Flow. That was it. Uh, thank you, Flowers and uh, Lathy. Also, Lathy, what -o? Um, We're just having a natter and a hangout this afternoon. We were going to try playing some Sniper 3 and then Steam went, ha 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 ha, no. Um, however, this care package actually arrived with one of the physical prop dildo bats. And if you haven't seen from Saints Row the Third, it is the iconic melee weapon and it is a baseball bat sized uh, wobbly phallus it's also worth noting that the physical version was uh, mostly a solid wooden stick so that thing was weighty I think if you'd actually hit someone with them you would have done them a damage the problem was 
while it is a video game prop, it's still a gigantic wobbly knob. And it's not the kind of thing that one really wants to have around the office. It's not, um, what's the term? Not conducive to HR policy. So, one of my friends, who shall remain nameless because they do not need to be impl implicated in the story, they agreed they were going to take the wobbly bat home. Because, you know, HR were getting nervous and uh, our uh, department head was not happy that it was around. So, like, got to get rid of this thing. We can't have a giant wobbly knob in the office. Like, all right, all right. So, Frendo agreed to take it back. However, he misunderstood that when our boss said, you need to get rid of it tomorrow, he meant tomorrow. It's, it had to be gone by end of day. He thought he's got like a, he'd have until like the end of the week to get rid of it or something. And that was the day he chose to cycle into work. Didn't drive, biked in. And I think you can see where the story is going, that with the explicit instructions, the explicit instructions that this bat has to go. The only way he could take it back, because this thing was mahoosive, you know, it came up to here on you, was to strap it onto his back like some kind of, I don't know, like terrible hentai samurai and pedal it back. He ended up having to take the feckin' back row to try and avoid it. But then anytime he'd see a group of people, he'd have to go off-road on his bike. So he didn't like look like he was doing some kind of like high-speed sex crime. Yeah, see, and C222, the fact that he didn't think about jousting it. That should have been the first idea. Uh, and so to a topless, how's it hanging? Uh, I believe above my friend's fireplace. Well, it's probably hanging somewhere else now because he moved around in. <laughs> the topless like, hey, so I entered at high speed sex crime. Uh, this is great. Yeah, if you know the region of Horsham at all, it's a very small part of the world. It's a very small part of the world. Uh, actually, uh, Zach's not wrong. High speed sex crime is a good band name. Anyway, so the. The Wobbly Knob did make it back uh, safely through much embarrassment and chagrin, but it just... The thing I wish I could describe, the thing I wish I was a good enough wordsmith to tell you, was the multitude of expressions on his face when he realised he was going to have to bike it home. That there was nothing he could cover it with. It, it was too big for a bin bag, you know, it was... It, I guess he maybe could have wrapped it in lots and lots of sheets of paper, but... Oh, Toppler says, uh, Helltaker's one year anniversary is one year today. Has he been out for a year? God. Yeah, no, you're right. May 11th, 2020. I've been thinking about playing this so often and yet haven't. Yeah, Kisa, it's been on my... Oh, I'm totally going to play that at some point for so long. Uh, and Iron Imp, how are you doing this afternoon? What oh. Uh, and Earl, I have seen that um, uh, that the Sterling household has a a wobbly knob. Oh, no, that wasn't where I met them. I think I met them at oh Pax the same year. I think uh, I believe it was um, my good friend Al Bickham introduced me finally. Reactor online, sensors online, weapons online, all systems nominal. City one. 31 indeed. Oh, sorry, the man, thank you kindly. Like, 31 months of throwing subs this way. Sincerely grateful. Uh, Latham says, uh, Ashley Birch has one. Oh, they made so many. Um, they were under no 
um, it was no surprise to them that Saints Row the Third did good. They put a big marketing push behind it, and it paid off. Um, uh, on that one, well, I believe Sterling's going by they these days. But it gets a bit confusing because Jim Sterling of the Jimquisition was a character, not a person. But I know... That person's now non-binary. Sensors online. Think? Weapons online. All I, systems nominal. The only confusing thing about it is I don't know if we're talking about the character Viking or the person. 64 cat heart. Um, and so Lost Flowers, I can't speak to their character in any great way. I got to have like a 20-minute conversation with them, which was cool. But like, I was a fan of their work back when they were with um, uh, Destructoid. Remember when Destructoid was a thing? Um, Oh, Zach's going to be lurking beneath to walk the pub. Hey, no worry. Uh, I don't know if we'll still be here when you get back. So if we're not, obviously say hi to your lovely, lovely pups for us. But have a lovely rest of your evening. Um, but yeah, so uh, Lathy, they did a bunch of those uh, dildo bats. And they sent them to a ton of different like press, journo, uh, content creator outlets and stuff. But I guess it's that thing of like, these days I wouldn't say someone is a decent person unless I know it personally. Because, yeah, after last summer, there are a lot of people who I, you know, I would have sworn were excellent humans and then turned out was very wrong. But that's another story. Uh, Atopla says Dildo Bat sounds like another rad band name. It sounds like an all cussing Aquabats cover band, which. I'm entirely okay with. <laughs> Sorry, Robin was saying, like, they haven't been able to find out how um, Rockstar did the horse genitals modeling in Red Dead Redemption 2, so they're just going to have to tweet at them. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, uh, Rockstar official Twitter account. Um, hey, uh, I just got my notepad here. How did you do the balls? No, no, don't run away! No, the balls! I need to know about the balls! <laughs> I find myself funny. Um, oh, and Lost Flowers. I've well, I've always thought that bloke was a masculine term, um, but it's and that's what I've always considered it. Uh, Varials Watto. Varials is like who keeps me sub when I'm not looking. The Hunters of House Carl. Um, they are, as you well know, a glorious bunch of Mother Hubbards. Um, I mean, even with us getting into the quiet part of the year, we're still at th over 300 friendos. Which, when you consider how small we are in the grand scheme of the internet, is just incredible. Uh, also, Varials, how are you doing? I meant to ask, um, so Varials, how far are you off of, um, of version one and done? Uh, because since you jumped in here, I get to embarrass you by talking about your game, because it's really good. Uh, so friendos, uh, Varials made a title called The Void Reigns Upon Her Heart, and it's incredible. Uh, it is a roguelike bullet hell but with a, a through narrative uh, which I was thinking about this the other day Varials you did through narrative in a roguelike before Hades so like just props to you on that one props to you uh, it's a really really good game and if the new um, what was it uh, the new R-Type collection left you wanting get this you'll have a bloody good time with it Atopolis is like, heck yeah, fellow game devs, high five. <laughs> yeah, Atopolis, I'm sorry, I haven't played your game. <laughs> no doubt Kisa will be shaming me for that for a long time, which is fair. Although, it's also kind of a smug position to be in. 
that, oh no, I know too many people that make incredible video games that I don't have enough time to play, oh no. How hard is my life, right? <laughs> He's just like, yeah, I normally shame you for less. It's fair. Uh, Topper says the game is just... Oh, sorry, I thought you worked on uh, Helltaker. My apologies. I uh, I got the wrong end of the stick there. But a Topless is working a game about a moving beam currently. Um, making game mechanical at like the spell system. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Caffeine says, what is this shame you speak of? I don't know. I had mine removed when I was younger. Like, it was a bit awkward at first, but, you know, for like a week or so, I got to eat all the ice cream I wanted. So, you know, go figure. Sorry, Iron Imp was just asking, Hey Will, on the biopic of your life, would you insist on Simon Pegg playing you? Or would you wait and play as him? <sighs> I think I I think I drunkenly I think I drunkenly invited him for a feckin' interview once and never heard anything. If only to just prove that we are two separate people. Throughout the entirety of my video games career, I've been that Simon Pegg looking Mother Hubbard. And even after I got the undershave and grew my hair out. Um, <laughs> Varials is like, I'm just saying, I've seen them both in the same place. Anyway, I'm sorry, Varials. I shouldn't, um... Uh, I shouldn't pick on you when you're uh, coming to hang out. I, I do that a little bit to my my game's friends. <laughs> well, uh, I would not uh, claim to take anyone else's credit for uh, for great works, and I gotta admit, um, a friend took me through the uh, the last of the new Star Trek films. And put it forward, uh, put it to me as a deconstruction of the previous two films. And ever since then, I've really liked it. <laughs> but I think about this a lot. Oh, sorry, I went off into space for a second there. Hey! CJ Watto, friend. CJ's like, but my improv coach always told me to say yes. <laughs> yeah, I have accused people of that a couple of times, of being like, way to yes and. But mostly when I'm trying to do something stupid. Um, the man, space, it's still there. <laughs> space, it's still there. That's a pretty good, that's a pretty good review, right? So, uh, CJ, we managed to blitz through all of Say No More today. We managed to do it in a sitting. So, if you haven't had the, if you didn't see any of it and you haven't seen any of it, pick it up when you can, it's incredible. You get to make your own intern Sona. Oh, it was so good. And I forget who it was that mentioned it, but the whole thing ends up being... Uh, the whole thing was, vo uh, was voiced, which I did not expect. And it definitely gave it a bit more... I don't know, it gave it a bit more punch. <laughs> Sorry, CJ was like, wait, it's yes and? God, I knew that guy was a hack. Yeah, it's meant to be yes and. <laughs> How are you doing, CJ? God, last I saw you were uh, eyeballs deep in alien isolation. Have you managed to finish that yet?
Okay. Uh, so CJ's not quite finished it. Hard mode kicking my ass thoroughly. I was impressed that you went for, for hard mode off the bat. I, I genuinely was. And uh, it's going to get interesting. <laughs> One of my favorite things in Alien Isolation is watching people early on before they realize that the alien learns your tricks. So if you do the same thing repeatedly, it'll learn and then it will murder you. This does not stop being funny to watch. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry, CJ says they're going to be jumping into uh, Resident Evil 8 on hard later. Now, that's understandable. Um, I am avoiding Resident Evil The Village until Fiona's finished her run of Resident Evil 7, uh, which she is restarting on Thursday. So if you want to see Fiona get real scared and me cackle maniacally alongside... Oh, Atopla says they started playing Alien Isolation stream and... Uh... <laughs> I don't know. So, Atopolis, if you faff around too much in the early areas, the alien will show up. The threat is real. It's not always guaranteed that it'll happen. But... Suffice it to say, you're not actually safe at the beginning of the game. And yeah, to quote CJ, that alien is not playing. Uh, oh, I am says, in the latest Noita update, devs added something you'll just love in the lower portion of the lake. By love, do you mean that I'm going to be afraid of it and hate it with great passion? Did they add a bloody shark monster? Like... I've managed to finish Noita, so I don't feel the need to go back. Um, so C-Triple-2 says, two weeks ago, a YouTube video came out about the development story behind Alien Isolation. That's not the, the one from Noclip, because... The no clip documentary about Alien Isolation is really weak source. Um, and I'm hoping someday, like, all the stories for around Alien coming out. At least the, the good ones, you know. Um, well, I tell you what, um, C Triple Two, do you mind dropping that in um, the video drone so I can give it a watch? Because I'm trying to find more video gamey people to. Uh, the last couple of days, especially while I've been working, I've been going through a lot of different documentaries, and the one about artificial loneliness was really good. So I'm like, you know what? I should start branching out looking for some younger or newer voices for deconstruction of video games. And I know it's a standard practice in... I know it's a standard practice when you're writing a paper to start with, like, dictionary definitions, but... If you're doing a video essay, or if you're doing a deconstruction, or your thoughts and feels on something, if you start with Wikipedia entries, I'm just done. Like, we're on the internet at the same time. If I wanted to just Google the name of the video game, I could do that. Sorry. All right, tiny rant over. Um, a good friend of mine uh, once said that there are a lot of people who can write a very interesting paper that does not translate into good video or good audio and I don't know, I think about that a lot the, that it's not necessarily just about the information it's about the the cadence and the delivery, I think about that a lot okay, sorry, I ended up saying just to the alien isolation conversation <laughs> nice um, one thing that can contribute is that it was scored by Christian Henson, who is now the CEO of Spitfire Audio in London. Interesting. Uh, is bringing orchestral arrangement to the masses with excellent virtual, virtual instrumentation. Very fancy. 
<laughs> Jackie says, but does it translate into food? I don't know. I took the entire video game essay section of YouTube and baked it into this tiny cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, um, I'm just reading Snorpers, uh, Snorpens. Nope, staying on the ship. I woke up. I'm safe. Safe on the tiny ship. Wait, wait, there's someone knocking on the airlock. Candy Graham. Oh, a candy Graham. <laughs> Dies. <laughs> CJ saying a documentary on the lunches of the alien isolation team. Well, then they need to talk about Thursday market day in Horsham and how... About 60% of the studio would go for lunch early so as to get into the queue for burritos. Uh, C222 says, if I had the chance to shunt into an alternate reality, I want to be a professor giving lectures on why some people's video essays are just so good. Like, I haven't seen anyone who's done a deconstruction of how to do those kinds of videos. Um, it's just conversations I've had with friendos, but I do find it fascinating. Like, reset the clock! Anything involving movies with Mikey, I love his work wholeheartedly. And I, I hope one day to be able to deliver something that has the same heart and the same impact that he does. Do you know what I mean? I guess that I kind of get all of my good conversations out during the day, though. I don't find myself sitting around with a glass of wine being like, ah, oh, boy, I sure wish I could talk about how Euro Truck Simulator is one of the best forms of meditative video games. Or how... The impossible challenge and unending content of roguelike brings out people's truest gaming intense so like people that love um min maxing optimization uh being the very best like no one ever was um roguelikes bring out their uh their analytical and mathematical ta uh, talent talent um, uh, talent isn't the right word anyway you know what i mean i am lucky that i get to have these conversations with all of you lot every day so, like, one of the things that I'm really hoping, though, is that once the world opens up and I get to go back to, like, GDC and talk to some people is how... Get a, a fresh injection of some new opinions in my brain. Ah, uh, C222, I'm so sorry. I... I am not immune to that myself. Uh, sorry, c 2 said that they did a video essay, recorded it, and just hated it. And there's so many uh, projects, videos, some even for like professional stuff that just ended up on the cutting room floor because it was so much bad cringe. I mean, one of the things I'm thinking about doing is just kind of like, um, once lockdown is over, uh, once I'm able to go out into the world again, and hopefully my sleep pattern turns back into something vaguely normal, I do want to do a video essentially like saying to the, to the content creators who made stuff that kept me sane throughout a year and a half, like, I want to do like a little, like, thank you reel, you know? Because, God, I've... Oh... Sleep's definitely been one of the biggest challenges for, like, for most of lockdown. And there are so many smooth-voiced video essayists who have helped me actually get sleep. Like, I doubt they'd even so much as, well, some of them might, but most of them probably wouldn't even see the video. But I don't know, it's just, I can't speak with authority on the YouTube space or stuff like that. So at least I can say thank yous, you know? I consider doing the same thing for Twitch, 
and then realized that some of my very, very, very close friends who have streams, I don't get to see them because of the times they stream at. And it might feel like a little bit of a, of a feck your couch to those friendos because I wouldn't be able to say, hey, you know, I loved your streams and your streams helped me because they streamed at times I couldn't watch them. Like, all of my Twitch watching usually happens from, like, you know, 11 o'clock to midnight onwards. Um. Oh, and actually, I am, that's a very interesting point. Uh, sorry, um... Okay, so, CJ was saying they love roguelikes, you and me both. Um, my Steam achievements is basically like a little, like, here's all the roguelikes that I finished. So, like, Downwell... Uh, yeah, Downwell, Kingsway, Lost Void, Noita, um, Spelunky 1, um, and I guess to an extent getting over it with Bennett Foddy. Um... Sorry, what was I nattering about? Oh, Ionim was pointing out how the term roguelike still exists, whereas the term doom clone doesn't. We don't call first-person shooters doom clones anymore. And that could be the, the visual style in which ways in, in which shooters have changed, but then Rogue was an ASCII dungeon crawler with randomly generated elements. And its follow-up and arguably vastly more successful um, sequel, NetHack. Well, I don't know if NetHack was an official sequel. It's definitely a spiritual one. Like, we don't call them NetHack likes. We call them roguelikes. And it's a it's an interesting point, Iron M. I absolutely love, love talking about our naming conventions around games. Because they're so unique to games, to us, that I love it. See... All the other, like, linear mediums, or static mediums, if you want to call them, um, all their genres are based around the content. Because the medium in which you absorb it doesn't change. Now, music's slightly different because the genre can be affected by the culture it comes from. So you can have two very similar kinds of music, but the cultures that influence them can change the genre. But over here in video games, it's partially the control method, the way in which you engage the game that defines its genre, not its content. However, in some regards, the naming conventions for those come from itself. I love the term Metroidvania because it does not have a cadence anywhere else in any other artistic medium. It's just ours. And it's a mashup of two games made by two different developers that had a similar control scheme with some similar design hooks, and that's how we got it. I fucking love that. Ah, oh, and the man, that's a very cynical way of putting it. Uh, the man was saying roguelike exists uh, as a genre because language is stupid and makes no sense. Well, it's like we've had to invent our own terms in video games, and sometimes those have come out being weird and odd and different, and sometimes they're very direct and on the nose. But they're ours, and I love that. Um, Snorbin Bass is pointing out that the term platformer has uh, has persisted, but they didn't become Mario-likes, even though Mario was one of the kind of, like, seminal platformers. Um, it is fascinating... And I wonder if it's because the sheer variety of content with platformers. Like, we used to use the term Doom Clone because you'd have sprite graphics, you'd have weapons, and you're always running around and killing. Like, the through narrative is the same. But platforming games, we've seen all sorts. Like, violent, non-violent, we've seen every art style under the sun. Like, who remembers Zool, where you play a ninja from a strange world of candy? Oh, well, Sweeties, if you're from the UK. Um, which doesn't make a lick of sense. Or, like, James Pond. An entire game based on a beckon pun. Yeah, Varials. Bullet Hell is a fun name. 
Where the bloody heck did that come from? <laughs> and there's Snorpin adding, well, it would have been Wolfenstein clones, but it was too hard to say. No, it's just what Doom did culturally. Poor boy. Yeah, C C Triple Two saying roguelikes aren't games where you sneak around and behave like a rogue. It's a game where there's always permadeath and randomly generated ways forward. Well, there's also the discussion of roguelike versus roguelite, but that's more a highbrow discussion. By the time you understand the difference between those, you fully understand the term. Oh, handlebar? Watto? Um, we're just nattering. We got on the subject of game genres, and now I'm just going... Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 Um... Yeah, Lathy, Shmup's one of those interesting ones that has somewhat faded. Older generations of gamers would definitely know what you mean by shmups, but Bullet Hell seems to be the one that's persisted. Like how Beat 'em Up turned into Brawler. It's interesting how that language has changed. And I guess it's because we've moved away from games just being about how you affect the baddies. Uh, Ionim says, language and etymology is fun. Yup. Uh, English is one of the hardest and most expressive languages since it breaks its own loose rules. Oh yeah. It's a bastard for dyslexics, but English as a spoken language at very least is incredibly expressive and I love it. Um, and when you combine that with video games, which is a thing that's only existed in our lifetime, there isn't this like set in stone old ways. And I love that as well. Yeah, MUDs and MMOs. There's another fascinating one. Like, MMO as a descriptor is incredibly vague, yet for an emotional reaction, you know what it evokes. Like, a massively multiplayer online game doesn't really tell you a lot. It's online, yep. Lots of people playing together, I guess. But... That could be anything, just so long as there's lots of people playing together, right? Well, no, because for us, MMO evokes a certain kind of experience, and a lot of these genres are often defined by the most successful. So, when you think of MMOs, definitely the World of Warcraft, post-World of Warcraft uh, style jumps into mind. But remember how WoW Killer became a descriptor for a while? Each new game that tried to step up and take over was the next WoW killer. So rather than it being like a Doom clone, it was a WoW killer. As if it was like a hero title given to games that might possibly slay the beast. Spoiler, none of them did. Um... Now, C222, I love the is insert game name here a MOBA. That was one of my favorite memes for a while. Which I believe Eurogamer won with um, Is Ross Kemp a MOBA? Uh, Ross Kemp, a uh, British actor most known for being in a bit of a crappy soap opera and travelling around weird gangs of the world in a show on the point. Handlebar says, remember when G4 would give a game 3 out of 5 for not having online play? God, we went through some strange times. God, that whole GoldenEye, you are a cornerstone of our video gaming history. And without it, we would be a lot poorer. But feck you, GoldenEye, for making it so that every dev felt they had to put a multiplayer mode in. Now, I'll admit, um, as Fiona and I were talking about this the other day, uh, I remember playing the South Park shooter on the N64. I remember playing the multiplayer of that until the wee hours because... We were kids and fart jokes were funny. Fart jokes are still funny. It's just all about the delivery now. Uh, Jackie says, I hated how RTS got muddled with MOBA for a while. Um, there's been quite a few times where marketing teams have tried to force a new genre or have tried to uh, make one thing presented as another. 
And it's interesting that you can't do that in games. Ultimately, it is the consumers who decide what genre something is. And it's like, as much as I dislike the term because I find it very dismissive, but the term walking simulator, that came from consumers. No one described their games as walking simulators. And it's become an actual... It's become an actual mark. Oh, Snorpin says they remember in the 90s playing a certain MechWarrior game online on dial-up. Dial-up. Yup. Um... Christopher Walking should star in a walking simulator. I mean, I'd play it. I'd play it. Unless David Cage is making it, in which case, get out. Um... See, C222 was just adding that now the term Souls-like is a thing. It is. Um, and I wonder how long that will persist as a term. Um, and actually, so Jackie, you're mentioning about like how RTS has got muddled. Um, what an RTS is has definitely been a difficult one to define. Because there is a, there's certainly a traditional sense of what those are. But RTS and RTS-like elements have been morphed and changed and folded into different games. Um, like, the discussion for a long time was, is Dawn of War 2 an RTS? Because you go from grand base building and construction to squad-based tactics. Like, is it still a, a tactical game? Are we still there? Oh, and um, uh, Handlebar, I will say that is the best thing about about uh, David Cage games is when they break. Um, all right, so Atopolis, have a lovely rest of your evening. Thank you very much for the conversation and the company. It's always lovely to chat with everybody. Uh, the man says that they completely missed, missed the dial-up days. Parents were way behind the times. I... One of the reasons why I think I'm, one, very nocturnal, and two, had a very large bout of my life with uh, what I like to call white guy insomnia, um, was because I got really into online games. Um, so, Ultima Online was my big one, but also um, Fantasy Star before it, uh, a lot of Quake, a lot of um, AVP 2000, well, it was just AVP at the time. And so I just had to wait until the house was gone to bed. And then, oh boy, it was time to play every video game. And so I'd quite often be up until the dawn, like, especially on Ultima Online and stuff like that. Um, I never got the chance to play the early MechWarrior games dial-up, which was kind of sad now I think about it uh, I just didn't know how to find those communities and it was a lot harder if a game didn't have like a, a planet website or an easy to find established community it was very hard to find to find your space find your niche um, I remember Heavy Gear 2 had really good matchmaking so I got to play a fair wedge of that online but not too too much Sorry, Handlebar was just saying that the other day at work they saw um, someone wearing a Haven hent a hentai Haven hoodie as they were uh, cleaning the bathrooms. I was that perplexed ever since? Well, it's kind of like the Bad Dragon coffee mug. Like to know it is uh, to know it is to kind of admit something in a public place. It gives you a certain kind of power. Um, God, what was the one that they used to be at every fucking convention? Um, it was, oh, it was the, uh, it was the hen wearing a necktie shirt. That was the, that was the pseudo joke for a long, long, long time. Uh, Lathy said they had dial up until 2010. I'm so sorry. 
Um, you got on after everyone. Anyone was like this call or need the phone? Yup. Uh, also, timing online gamings around the two hour disconnect. So like, what we used to do in Ultima Online was before we went on an attack or a raid, everyone would disconnect and reconnect so that we didn't have to worry about the internet crapping out at the two hour mark while we were mid fight. God. Oh, and Plunge, good evening. What, old friend? We're just having a hangout and a natter. How you doing? Oh, Plunge just beat Resident Evil 8. Lovely. No spoilers, dear friend. No spoilers. Not that I'd think you would come in and be like, and it turned out that that Mr. Winters was a Wookiee the whole time. It was all a dream. Um, all right. So you lovely Mother Hubbards, these have been some wonderful conversations. I love talking about genres and just, it's part celebration, part nostalgia. And we should definitely wax lyrical about um, the the 56K era. Uh, if you haven't seen it, over on Errant Signal, there's a wonderful series about, uh, they're calling it The Children of Doom, even though it starts with Wolfenstein downwards. And it's about like the Doom's influence on the whole uh, video game culture and what came from it. The, the first person shooter genre, how it evolved and its, it's far reaching impacts. And I didn't realize. No! J-Post, you feckin' ledge! J-Post, thank you for gifting a sub to CJ. That's feckin' cool of you. Feckin' yo. Everyone's been bloody lovely today. I thought it was gonna be a lot more. I thought it was gonna be a lot more tame today, and I was, I'm was. i okay with that, but between our person who showed up and went surprise 20 subs. Sensors online. Sensors online. Weapons <laughs> online. All systems nominal. Dear Diary, it has been 27 months. I fear I may never return <laughs> to normal people. If anyone sees this, leave me behind. All is lost, but I have been found. <laughs> bravo, friend. Bravo. <laughs> and whoever that spooky ghost was, thank you for the 100 as well. Although, by the powers of J-Post, CJ DeMocker has now taken the Yaldim. What will you do with your new power, CJ? What will you do? Um, oh yeah, so I'm just gonna add, um, and obviously head over to Errant Signal to get the proper full version. But I didn't realize that Quake was the first time, was the first game to use, um, oh, is it client side prediction? Um, the thing that predicts where it, it predicts where it thinks something will be in X amount of time, even if, uh, the packets haven't informed. No, it's it's not prediction. It's oh fuck. You know what? Go give the video a watch because I didn't realise that was the first time that kind of net coding tech had been implemented. I think that's the right term, um, C triple two. But I am I am racking my tiny brain. CJ says, um, in rides a new reign of darkness. Come defeat me, heroes. That's, I'm just reading CJ's statement. I am not fishing, as you well know. Um, now, I had a point and it dropped right out the back of my head. Bang. <laughs> well, CJ's dead. Um, <laughs> fuck. Graphite Sparrow, thank you. You fucking legend. Oh, God. <laughs> it's like that meme with a person with a pistol with a pistol with a pistol. Um, yeah. No offense, CJ. No offense, CJ, but this kind of feels like they rushed the stage on you here. 
your darkness is weak before the power of the holy beam. Yeah, caffeine's not messing around. Fucking yo. Uh, graphite, caffeine. That a whole bunch. Fucking thank you. Uh, and Bacon Avenger, thank you as well. Oh, look, a train. Yeah, a whole ass train. <laughs> uh, also, friends, the, the tiny spider emote ha should be blocked, so you don't have to worry about that one popping up. Fingies crossed. Fingies crossed. <laughs> <laughs> CJ explodes in beams of light. No, I've been defeated. Oh, yes. A train has begun. And these these smooth jams are too smooth. This is not how we roll here. This is how we roll. Yeah. Now it's a party. <laughs> uh, Androff, that's fucking lovely of you. Uh, Androff threw a sub to the crowd. Uh, now went to Shushmeister. Hey! Can you raid into a train? That seems dangerous. That seems dangerous. Like, I mean, hey. I'm not your parents. If you want to raid into a train, raid into a train. Cryostix, how are you doing, friend? What? Oh! And C triple two on top of everything else you've chucked in, like I can thank you. Oh, Snowball was adding, wasn't Carmack's main deal buying a sports car made of gold? Well, it was interesting that Carmack's whole thing was that story is superfluous, that like technology and experience is primary. I think about that a lot. Stop that incessant clicking. Fucking legends, a lot of you. And yes, Cryostix, the train can still explode. It's known to do thusly. <laughs> now, Andros was saying, the thing like raiding's like a wholesome thing in Twitch. Yes, it is. Though it's always good when you get like a big crowd in and it turns into just like this battle of the emotes. We have a very, 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 very efficient shield wall over here. And uh, I often feel bad, like, bringing, bringing the full force down. <laughs> Under Siege 2. Apparently, there's also a kitchen on a train, and we can work with that. <laughs> oh, lordy, lordy. But yeah, um, on the the Carmack Romero conversation, if you Stop that incessant clicking. Feckin' yo! Feckin' yo! <laughs> Stop that incessant clicking. Uh, so Vanderbeast, thank you for the pint glass. Bacon Adventure, holy shite! Uh, Bacon Avenger gifted out 10 subs to the crowd. It's a lot of subs that have gone out here today, friends. Thank you. Uh, those went to uh, Garnling, uh, Gemenstein, Scooby on tour. Uh, I'm going to go with Mogki? Mogki? Moggy. Moggy? Eventually. Uh, Agile Joshua, painfully dyslexic. Maiden Shy White Wolf. Uh, Anrun. Uh, Price of a memory, two for a pan, two for a pan, and Burmy, Burmy. I'm gonna go with Burmy. I like that. Fucking yo! Fucking yo! I sincerely thank you. Clicking. 
Oh, and the only thing that I'll add on the, um, the, the Carmack and the sports car conversation is what my friend used to say, which is, if you're working for a games company and suddenly all the owners start showing up in very expensive sport ca sports cars, that's the sign to leave. That's the point where you get out. Stop that incessant clicking. Fucking go! Some rapid fire badassery going on over here. Also, I think we screamed past one of the stations there, Bacon Avenger. Stop that incessant clicking. Fucking <laughs> yo! Sorry, here's me lacking clever and big words. I did not expect any of this today. So all of you, thank you. And we're gonna spoil. We're gonna spool this up again. Two for two. Uh, and Katros, Wato, I hope you are doing very well. And I hope you get some glorious sleep, friend. <laughs> Sorry, Bacon says, well, it was showing level 3 at 0%. percent i upset my sense of propriety. Understandable. Oh, and uh, Snorp, on the Steven Seagal discussion, one, guy's very weird, more than a little creepy. Uh, he has his own production company these days, and his ability to produce Steven Seagal vehicles, a little bit impressive. Uh, his ability to shoot a scene in such a way as the bad guys have to come to him, so he can do the kind of like the hand slap into the quick throw, is incredible. Like, if you do like a modern Steven Seagal movie night, it's a, it's an experience. They're not good movies. Most of them are terrible. Uh, and the one that made me very unsettled was a movie called uh, The Keeper. Because the, the naming convention always has to be Steven Seagal is The Keeper. Steven Seagal is Under Siege, yada yada yada. But for that particular movie, The Keeper, it wasn't that he was a bodyguard. It's that he ends up dating the very young lass who he's meant to be protecting. He's The Keeper. And that made me go, whoa. Ah. You did indeed, Quasi. You did indeed. How are you doing, friend? A little bit of chaos there. Quasi says, NASA Wallops is a giant tease. Is that a relation to, to, to Mr. NASA? You know what? That was a terrible joke, and I apologize for it. But thank you for a hundred beats. Heckin' yo. Everybody gets a little dog face! This is amazing! Heckin' yo. Okie dokie, Lokis. Just. Thank you all for that. Like I said, I thought today was going to be a very, very quiet day, and you all decided, nope, we're going out, we're going out on a train. If that's how we're leaving, we're leaving loud. So, thank you all, I'm trying to say. I'm doing a very, very poor job of saying thank you. Thank you, Pokemans. All right. So, friendos, I'm going to roll credits now. Uh, I'm going to pass you over to Mega Ran after this because he's playing um, Returnal. Captain on the bridge. Oh, oh wow. Want to add to everything else, Striak. Beckon, yo. Um, so, Bacon Avenger, thank you. On top of everything that you do here and all the wonderful conversation, 
Um, thank you kindly. And on top of all of that, 10 months at a tier three, that's an inordinate amount. So, and I guess this goes to all of you, but sincerely, thank you. Even if you just throw it in like teeny tiny bits or what have you, it keeps us going here. Like me, the nuggies, everybody. So I can yo. In your, thank you. So, I'm gonna roll credits, and then I will find a lovely person to pass you on to. So I think uh, Mega Ran might actually be finishing up. I think he's gone over to sports games, and not my jam. Very much not my jam. Oh no! So there was NASA stuff planned today, but uh, due to weather they haven't been able to do it. Okay, well Quasi, thank you for letting us know. Sorry for you to come on in just as we're finishing up. Um, we played Say No more today, and you know what, I'm going to plug that game one more time, because if you haven't had the chance, if you didn't see it today, you deserve this game. Like, and if you've ever worked in an open office or a corporation, it's gonna, oh boy, oh boy, it's gonna hit. Oh, okay, I'm glad you got to see some. All right. Okay. Right. Let me say thank yous, otherwise I think I'll just end up becoming more and more slack-jawed as I stare off into the middle distance, thinking about... Vidya Games. Oh no! So Quasi was saying the only downside of the NASA stuff is they've been trying to show it to their kids, which has meant the kids staying up late. Okay. And see triple two, that sounds awesome. All right, as I said before, and I do want to say again, whether you threw in a teeny bit or a massive amount, thank you so much from all of us. Firstly, Nom Nom, thank you for the cash monies so that will go on food. Um, to Caffeine, Bacon Avenger, C triple two, Favor Six, J Post, Quasimoto, Dandy Lion, uh, Boa Cat, uh, Deborah Close, Graphite Sparrow, Anonymous Chiro, Lord Lost and Found, and Vanda Beast. All the bits is like. Bits are the biggest part of what keeps us alive here, so sincerely thank you. Uh, your moderator today was Caffeine and Talicus, but we did see Lizzie um, earlier on today, and also thank you to Rhymes and News. Uh, Extremely Low was our new follower and was exceptionally generous, thank you there. Now, those that were hunted by Carl or celebrating long sprees, I'd like to thank Baron Ransack Von Joy, Kimball, DJ, uh, DJ KN. Kisa Saitama, Alleged Man, Fallas Your Get to the Boat, Turner, Dandelion, Snorp and Bass, A uh, Fool, uh, Kexis, um, The Urban, uh, it is The Urban Apache, I'm not reading that wrong, am I? Okay. Uh, Game Manual, Halo Grunt, Ark Seraph, Little Sparrow, um, Amazing, uh, Amazing Amatsu Official, uh, Miss Bazoombas, Eldritch Bumblebee, Terry Draxmus, White Wolf Mystery, uh, Matthias, Lord Smudge, Spider Kumo, Felt Asian Fireball, Ginger Martin Games, CMC Passerby, Extremely Low the Man, Wyvern Flames, CJ the Mocker, uh, Lord Lost and Found, uh, Shushmeister, uh, Garnling, uh, Agile Joshua, Maiden Shy, Wolf, uh, Maiden Shy White Wolf, blah. Almost tripped over that one. Uh, Gemenstein, Scooby on tour. Uh, Mogi, painfully dyslexic. Uh, Anron, Price of Memory. Uh, Bellmy and Bacon Avenger. And a huge, huge thank you to Cryostix and Stooge for raiding in. Like, it's a great honor to be trusted with people's viewership and hopefully bringing everybody together in one place. So, thank you. All of you, thank you. <laughs> Graphite Sparrow with a cheeky sneak there. All right, so let me see who I can find for your lovely selves. Be sports.
upon all my money Yeah, there's a lot of models And some supermodels too Don't touch my diamond bridge It costs more than Okay, bear with me a second, friend. I'm going to see if these people are still going or if um, um, Twitch is being a, a, a weird crumb bum. See, there's one person who's doing the um, Halo armor mod, but they're playing with a lot of, lot of people, so it's going to be an audio soup. But it's very cool, and we know a few people that get real involved with the, like, uh, Halo mod RP scene. So let's see if which of these two are uh, arty, lovely individuals. Yeah, Twitch be twitching. Truth and advertising. Ugh. Okay. So interestingly, uh, one of my uh, Seattle friendos uh, has shifted into doing arts and having a good time. They are currently playing with their lovely chunky cat. Let's see how Wonderpuss is doing. I haven't had a chance to hang out with them in feckin' ages. God, it's surreal the number of, like, Seattle peoples that I just haven't, like, I've lost complete contact with since uh, lockdown. I realise I haven't even had so much as a digital-based conversation with Wonderpuss. Give that a try. All right, friends, today was a lovely day. Thank you for coming with me on a weird indie game about, you know, anti-corporation self-empowerment and... It's just indulging me like a couple of hours of just chatting and hanging out because shockingly, I know, but shockingly, I love talking with you lot. So, back and thank you. And hopefully, by the time our raid heads over, the cat will still be on screen so we can look at the cat. Yes, we are basically using a raid so that we can go hang out with other people's cats. You know how it is. All right, friends, thank you again. Uh, tomorrow we are doing Paradise Lost, so that's an arty farty walking sim, and it's going to be grand. Oh, and it's Subnautica on Saturday, I keep thinking about that. Alright, friends, have a lovely rest of your evening. Be continued.